Salutations, everyone. Here we are again. This time, all... Um, there's gonna be chaos, basically. Because we're gonna be besieged by everyone in Japan. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people around us. This is gonna be fun. Um, I haven't played this scenario as much, but I'm quite excited for it. Let me see. So, we're gonna be playing the Nobunaga Besieged scenario this time. So, last time, to give you guys a recap of what happened last time. So, last time we played the, the Dawn of Revolution scenario. We, we began our march to the capital, we took over all these territories. We conquered the capital, we kicked out the Miyoshi out. And um, we also saw, I think, the battle of um, Kawanakajima, I think. I think. Which was really hype, I always love talking about that. Did you win Japan yet? Never. <laughs> but yeah, so today we're gonna play the Nobunaga Besieged scenario. This is our territory right now, we have the entirety of Oari province, Mino province, we have Ise and Toba, um, we have this section of Omi, and we have this side of Kansai right here. Technically, we did take over the capital, but we, the whole point of taking the capital was to, you know, kinda resurrect the Ashikaga Shogunate. So, that's why the Ashikaga clan is here, because we did all this conquering in their name, and now we're kinda using them as puppets, but... Ashikaga Yoshiaki doesn't like being used as a puppet, as we will, we will see. Anyways, there's no point in me talking about the details because we're gonna see the details today. Because that's gonna be what's gonna bring everyone to attack Nobunaga. Um, we have, we're gonna have quite a lot of enemies. So let me see, so we're gonna play until 1572, which is the date of the Battle of Mikatagahara. Let's see, December. But what do we have to take until then? I think all we have to take is one castle, only Sawayama, right here. Uh, other than that, we don't really have to take anything else. Yeah, we don't. The Rokaku are still here. The Tsutsui will be our allies, I think. The Matsunaga are still here. The Hatakeyama are still here, but most likely they're gonna get taken over by the Miyoshi. Um, and we don't destroy the Azai just yet. Neither do we destroy the Asakura just yet. So yeah, that's, that's the goal. We're gonna mostly see events happening. We'll take only Sawayama. And we have to defend, because we're going to be attacked from all sides, I think. So there we go. Here we go. Tenkafubu! Nobunaga, Oda Nobunaga, having declared his ambition to unify the country, rides for the capital alongside his chosen shogun. However, as they cross into Echizen, something unexpected happens. That's what the, the scene we were all, we're all we were going to see uh, last time, last week. But I interrupted it because it, it's part of today's today's street. But there we go. I think this is is this is this uh, loud enough actually? Let me just take take a look at the audio. Mm, ah, it's fine. It's at eighty percent. That's good enough. For special events, I'll be turning it up to a hundred. Other than that, I'll keep it as an eighty percent. Because sometimes the music of this game can be kind of loud. Anyways, Eiroku, Eiroku 13, 1570. Having successfully escorted Ashikaga Yoshiaki to Kyoto, Oda Nobunaga had suddenly become the principal figure of the era. Many daimyo disliked what they saw in him, though. In particular were the Miyoshi, who had long held claim to the capital, and Honganji, which maintained a large base of support in Osaka. So, some context on the on the Honganji. Um, this is actually not a samurai clan. They are Buddhist warrior monks. They are the Ikoiki sect of uh, warrior monks, and they're gonna be probably Nobunaga's greatest thorn in his side. Even Asa Asakura Yoshikage, the daimyo of Echizen, who, like Oda, had made his start as a retainer at Shiba was furious that his place at Yoshiaki's side had been taken from him. I mean, to be fair, he had an opportunity to march to the capital and he didn't. The Jehovah Witnesses of the East? Hmm, I wonder. Hmm. Hmm, no, I, I, I think they're gonna... I think they're... Uh, who can be a good comparison? I actually don't know. How close are we to Kyoto? Uh, I think we, we took Kyoto already. We we don't hold we we haven't we don't hold Kyoto ourselves because that belongs to the to the shogun, but we did take Kyoto already. Um, 
We have territories around it, for example. Moreover, allied with Asakura was none other than Azai Nagamasa, the husband of Nobunaga's sister Oichi. Difficult times lies ahead. So, yeah, in case you don't remember, we have a marriage alliance with the Azai, but the Azai are also allies with the Asakura, and the Asakura are about to become our enemies. So, the Azai are gonna have to make a difficult choice. Who they're gonna side with? Yeah, their longtime allies, the Asakura? Or us, the Oda? Alright, so there we go. This is the territory we have. As you can see, we have Owari, we have Mino, um, we have Ise, we have Toba, we have this part of, uh, of Omi, and we have this section of Kansai right here. Um, we're gonna have to be careful to defend these territories because um, they're kind of vulnerable. But fortunately, we still are allies with, uh, with the Ashikaga Shogunate, the Azai, and over here with the Matsunaga and the Hatakayama. So we, we do have our fair share of alliances. They won't, they might not last, you know, forever. But for now we have them. Difficult times lie ahead. In this period of time, is there anything as not difficult times? True. There is, all times are difficult in this period of time. It's constant warfare. Anyways, let's... Oh, I have so much money. Wow, that's nice. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's get the dawn of revolution. Let's get the system reform number one. Let's get system reform number two, which gives us defensive bases. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello. Hello, almighty. Let's see, what else should I get? Actually, mm, a small... Mm, oh, that's good. But I think I'll go for discretionary power assignment. There we go. Which allows me to order my other castles to, like, develop on their own without using my labor. Which is nice. Um, Alright, and I guess I'll start developing Gifu, because why not? Yeah, because Gifu is still my main base right here. Even even though I have taken Kanonji. Uh, in case you don't know, Kanonji is this castle right here. In the future, Kanonji will be Azuchi Castle, which will be... Nobunaga's main base, but for now we're not in Kan we're not in Kanonji yet. We're still in Gifu. Uh, but yeah, Azuchi Castle. I think Kanonji Castle will be dismantled, and in its place will be will be built uh, Azuchi. Let's see. I'm going to. Well, actually, I don't need to develop my economy just yet. Uh, though I don't think we need to do much uh, developing in general because we are a very powerful clan right now. We we have a very solid foundation in central Japan. Ho ho ho, Fokugawa clan? Alright, they want... They want to... do trades and stuff. Oh wait, no, don't take them! Wait, we're not supposed to do that! Hey, 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 Don't you dare do that! Alright, so in case you don't know what's going on... So because we have a very large territory, our territory is divided into provinces, right? And uh, that means that uh, whoever is at the head of the provinces has the autonomy to do whatever they want, kinda. Uh, and now one of my provinces decided to take over Nagashima because, ooh, look at that, it's just, it's just one single castle, easy peasy. But I don't want to do that because that's not accurate. We're not supposed to take that just yet. We're not enemies of the Honganji just yet. Let me see if I can stop them. Please, hey. In a, in a, in a regular campaign, I would do it. But not right now. Not right now. Let's see. Um, not permitted. No invasions. I hope he stops. Stop! Go home! I can't, I can't make him go home. Actually, there is a way. The best way to make him go home is to disband the province. There we go. If I disband the province, I have control over all the units once again. So I can ma I can make them all go home. Go home. Nice. And now I'm gonna make a province again. <laughs> Vassals is striking off their lords to war. <laughs> How typical the Sengoku Jidai, yep. Pretty much. There we go. And now and now I'm gonna make the province once again. I just needed to, to tell the, the province lords to, you know, not attack things. I'll appoint him as the regent once again. I'll affiliate those castles with him. There we go. Did he have these? I don't think he did. I think it was just these ones. I, I'd like to have control over Kanonji, actually, so he can just have this. Um, 
war tactics. This is not the best regent ever. No, don't invade anyone. But you can assist me if you want. There we go. Much better. That's it, right? Yeah, I think that's it. There we go. Problem solved. I don't want Nagashima to get taken just yet. Nagashima is only taken in the future, not now. That would be inaccurate. Oh, there we go. Cutscene. おだ金が先城を落とし、さらに木の目と この袋が何を意味するのか、爆料は頭を悩ませる。何だろう、トキチロは We've been betrayed. いや、願い人の表現は正確ではない。元々アザイ家は朝倉と長年の名誉だったのだ。そこへ信長が割り込み、昭和する妹を目合わせた。夫婦仲は睦まじく信長もまた純朴な義弟を愛したその長政により身を寄って今背かれるとは長政は兄より名誉を選んだに過ぎないだが、お市は板挟みとなった夫に従えば兄を見捨てねばならず兄に危機をもらせば夫への裏切りとなる信頼を捨てさせた小豆袋を縛る両端の紐は兄夫という小豆にとっての漆黒も意味した長政の逆心が事実なら一刻の猶予とてない信長は秀吉に侵害を任せ全軍に即時の陣払いを命じた義弟への恨み節など後回しだまずはこの絶体絶命の指示を出し京へ戻らねばお、oh, they didn't mention the assassination attempt. Okay, I'll talk about it then. Oh yeah, they didn't. Okay, let me talk about this. So, this is the retreat from Kanegasaki, right? Beca because uh, Asakura Yoshikage had uh, been defiant towards Nobunaga and Kainda the Shogun, uh, Nobunaga began marching to, to Echizen, where Asakura Yoshikage is based in. And as he was crossing Azai territory to get into Echizen, he was betrayed by Azai Nagamasa, who is his brother-in-law by marriage. Right, who's supposed to be an ally. Um, so he begins a retreat. I think he splits his army in two, and they go from dif to different sides. And, and they, they actually manage to succeed. But, as they retreat, Nobunaga actually gets an assassination attempt on him. There was a ninja called uh, Sugitani Zenjubo, who, who brings two loaded rifles and shoots them. And not rifles, muskets. Two loaded muskets, and shoots them with them. 
So basically, he shoots one of them, throws that rifle, that musket aside, and uh, shoots the, the other one immediately, and then runs away. Both bullets hit Nobunaga, one in his chest plate and the other in his helmet. Fortunate, and Nobunaga actually fell from his horse. Fortunately, the bullets did not penetrate the armor, so Nobunaga survived. But Nobunaga was pissed. He was really, really pissed. He, he, this was the moment where he's like, I'm going to kill my brother-in-law. Uh, he also, does, he also orders uh, Sugitani's and Jubo, the, the assassin, the ninja, to be chased after. And uh, he gets caught, he actually gets caught. And he, his execution is to be buried in sand and beheaded with bamboo sticks. Exactly, exactly almighty. He got slowly beheaded with blunt bamboo sticks while he was uh, buried in sand. So yeah, not, not, a, not a very uh, fast way to die. <laughs> Anyways, now we're gonna see the follow-up where Nobunaga calls upon his ally Tokugawa Ieyasu to fight against the Azai and the Asakura Coalition. And this is gonna be the Battle of Anegawa in the Ane River. There we go. Having escaped his predicament at Kanegasaki, Oda Nobunaga returned to Gifu and quickly readied his troops, determined to eradicate the Azai clan. This she, Oichi, had a legacy through her children, but yeah, sad story, yeah. Oichi had such a, was, is such a tragic figure. She, apparently, she actually had a very good romance with uh, Nagamasa. She and Nagamasa did love each other. But Nagamasa, unfortunately, chose the, the Asakura instead of, you know, Nobunaga. And unfortunately, that meant, that meant, you know, the end of the Azai. The Azai will get destroyed from this, right? Now, Oichi will survive. Well, well, you'll see. There's no need to, to say it right now, because we'll see all these events. But yeah, let's just say that Oichi is, does not have a happy life. After, after this betrayal by the Azai, Oichi's life goes kind of downhill, and it's really, really sad. Her children will survive, and uh, one of her children especially will be kind of relevant in the later stages of the Sengoku Jidai, Chacha, also known as a Yoro, Yorodono, I think. But that's a story for later. Anyways. Oda clan, Oda Nobunaga's castle. The Azai have betrayed us. They have chosen the Asakura. If we leave them unchecked, we they may threaten the path from Gifu to the capital. As they are our enemy now, we must swiftly annihilate the Azai and make Omi ours. I have left the rear guard to Ieyasu. The war council is over. We march the moment we are ready. We are not to fall behind the Tokugawa army. Our lord seems quite furious indeed. Of course he is! To think that bastard Nagamasa would do such a thing while married to Oichi! If we've gone to the Tokugawa for aid, I expect the Azai has also gone to the Asakura. A grand battle, a battle awaits us! News of Oda Nobunaga marching to Omi with Tokugawa Ieyasu's army reached Odani, driving Azai Nagamasa to ask Asakura Yoshikage for assistance. Azai clan, Azai Nagamasa's castle. Greetings, my lord. It appears that Lord Asakura Kagetake's soldiers have arrived. What? Has Yoshikage himself not come? Lord Yosh Asakura Yoshikage intends to stay in Tsuruga and fortify the rear. Morning. What is the meaning of this? I would go so far as to betray my brother-in-law to maintain our alliance, yet he chooses to ignore my pleas for aid. Yeah, let's just say that uh, Nagamasa chose his alliances wrong. But the Asakura do boast elite soldiers trained by the late Lord Sotiki. But how I know some events from Neo and Neo 2. Oh yeah, because the Neo and Neo 2 are made by Koei Tecmo. Uh, Koei Tecmo are also the, the creators of this game, of this franchise. Basically, Samurai Wari the Samurai Warriors franchise, the Neo franchise, the Nobunaga's Ambition franchise, hell, Pokemon Conquest, it's all Koei Tecmo. Koei Tecmo are probably the, the creators of the majority of like single Kujidai games out there. It's really funny. That's why some of the designs are similar um, throughout all those franchises. If you notice, Oda Nobunaga in Neo 2 is very similar to no Oda Nobunaga. Uh, some of his depictions in on an, in a uh, Nobunaga's ambition because it's, it's the same. It's the same design essentially. <clears throat> because uh, those games are also based on the single Kujidai. <clears throat> no, we cannot rely on uh, on the Asakura soldiers. 
I made the decision to betray Nobunaga, and it will be the soldiers of Azai to, ta to take his head. My lord. Oichi, forgive me for this. I am to stand and face your brother in battle. No. I am a member of the Azai clan now. Stronger bonds tie me to my husband than my brother. Go, and fight without restraint. I'm sorry, Oichi. Nope, oh, same company, yep. Thought you were gonna say that those games are also in the same world universe. Well, well technically they are, because it's all it's all historical events from our world. But but yeah, they're all made by the same company, yes. I'm sorry, Oichi. My lord! I would ask that you leave the first strike to me, Kazumasa! We don't need those cowardly Asakura to show them the sheer will of the Azai! I'm counting on you, Kazumasa, and Naotsune! I'm sorry for dragging you to this fight, but I'll be needing your support! And you shall have it! Indeed, I promise I shall bring victory to the Azai! Oda, Tokugawa, Azai, and Asakura! The Battle of Anegawa, a clash between the elite soldiers of four daimyo, was about to begin. Hello, hello randomness, welcome, welcome! Here we go, oh, there we go, the event is automatic. Undertaking at Anegawa. Happy Mooncake Festival, hey, happy Mooncake Festival! The clash between the combined forces of the Oda and Tokugawa against those of the Azai and the Asakura at Anegawa saw the former coalition hold the upper hand from the start. Magara Naotaka of the Asakura army performed admirably. He brandished his sword and died bravely after riding alone into the fray of the attacking Tokugawa army. I don't know why, but this, this entire paragraph sounds so hilarious to me. Ah yes, this guy, he did amazing and then he died. <laughs> I don't know, there's something really funny about this. He performed admirably, he took his sword, ra r rode forth and died. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious death. <laughs> As the Asakura forces were driven back by the Tokugawa's offensive, the main force of the Azai clan was also on the brink of defeat in the face of the Oda clan's frontal assault. This battle is our loss, but it's not over yet for me. You there, stop! Ah, Lord Endo! The feat appears imminent. We must flee at once. The Azai has no need for no, no need of cowards who would flee now. Surrender your head for the sake of the Azai clan. What? Steal yourself. It must be mortifying to die by an ally's blade. But I'm not long for this world either. I'll be with you in just a moment. Anegawa Battlefield, Oda Army Camp. Sorry. You! Who the devil are you? I offer you the head of Mitamura Saemon, commander of the Azai army. I would have you examine your, yourself, Lord Nobunaga. What? Truly? If that is the head you say it is, you have done well. Bring it to me. I see you, Nobunaga. The next head I take will be yours. Wait a moment. Ah, it's you! My name is Takenaka Hanbei. Before serving the Oda, I attended a dinner with the Azai in Omi. You cannot fool me, Lord Endo Naotsune of the Azai clan. Ugh, I've been found out! Blast! Brace yourself, Nobunaga! After infiltrating Oda's camp to present the head of an allied commander, Endo Naotsune died a regrettable death, barely a step from Nobunaga's seat. Lord Nagamasa, I am... sorry. That sneaky bastard! Lord Nobunaga, forgive me! It matters not. The fly has been swatted. I expected nothing less from Lord Nobunaga. He is utterly unfaced. Nobunaga doesn't care. He doesn't give a single shit. <laughs> the brave generals Magara and Endo had put on a fine show, but the Azai Asakura coalition would go on to lose the battle. The Oda and Tokugawa camps were overjoyed with their landslide victory. But Azai Nagamasa and Asakura Yoshikage survived with some forces intact. There, there's some context I need to give about this battle, let me just finish this cutscene, and I'll give you guys some context on the battle itself. In fact, wary of Nobunaga's clan expansion following his victory, other powers, including the Miyoshi clan, 
in the Yaku Temple, ah, in Ryakuji, and Honganji, he began to take an anti Nobunaga stance. Though he won at Anegawa, the victory had ironically put Nobunaga into a greater predicament. Okay, let me give you guys some uh, context on the Battle of Anegawa. So, so the Battle of Anegawa was fought by the the combined alliances of the the Tokugawa and Oda alliance and the Azai Asakura alliance, right? So when the when the two when the two armies met each other at Anegawa, um, initially. The armies were basically divided in two, where the Tokugawa were going to fight the Azai and the Oda were going to fight the Asakura, right? The 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 Oda were the majority in the in the Oda Tokugawa alliance, while the um, while the Asakura were actually the majority in the Azai Asakura alliance, right? So initially, the armies were actually evenly matched like that, right? So the Oda would fight the Asakura, the Azai would fight the the, um, the Tokugawa, right? As, as it should. But Nobunaga then saw that he was going to fight the Asakura and he wanted to be the one to kill his own brother-in-law. He wanted to be the one to kill Azai Nagamasa. So, before the battle began, he decided to switch sides, the, to switch positions. He, he wanted to switch with the Tokugawa. He wanted the Oda to fight the Azai so that he could f kill Azai Nagamasa. While the, um, while the Tokugawa would fight the Asakura. But this, as you can imagine, would put the Tokugawa in a very difficult position because now the Tokugawa would have to fight a vastly larger force, right? While on the other side, the Azai would have to fight the larger Oda clan. But that's how we, how things went. The, the Tokugawa ended up obeying because, you know, you know the, there's a, a big power disparity between the Oda and the Tokugawa. Yes, the, the Oda and the Tokugawa are allies, but there's like a, a, a power imbalance between the two clans. So the Tokugawa kind of have to obey the Oda here, because if they don't, they're going to get on the Oda's bad side. So the, the Tokugawa relac reluctantly fought the Asakura. So when the battle began, actually, the Oda were having trouble. The Azai fought ferociously. And uh, the Azai fought so ferociously, they, they actually almost got close to, the, to Nobunaga himself. I think Nobunaga was like... He survived by a sword stroke. There was like this one soldier that got super close to Nobunaga, but he was struck down before he got close. And I think that's what this cutscene that we saw with Endo Naotsune was supposed to reference, right? Because the Azai really fought ferociously in the Oda, even though they had larger numbers, they were having trouble. On the other side of the battlefield, though, the Tokugawa, even though they were on the minority, they actually were doing really well against the As Asakura, and they managed to make the Asakura retreat, right? So the Asakura retreat were the first ones to retreat, and because of that, it allowed the Tokugawa to provide relief to the, to the, to the, to the Oda, because Tokugawa Ieyasu sent a force to go and provide aid to the Oda troops. And because of that, the, the Azai troops saw themselves outmatched and they ended up retreating as well. And so the battle was won by the Oda Tokugawa coalition. Uh, very much so because the Tokugawa really pulled their weight in this battle and managed to win, even though they were in the minority here. Like, they did very, very, very well. But yeah, that's uh, the Battle of Anegawa. Even though the Oda and the Tokugawa won this battle, uh, nothing much came out of this battle. Um, they they weren't able to capitalize on this victory because they they themselves suffered quite a lot of losses and they had to retreat back to their territory and then more enemies started appearing and that made things difficult. So the Oda Tokugawa Co Co Coalition was not able to capitalize on this fight at all, on this victory. But yeah, the battle to escape Kanegasaki, that's the retreat, the retreat from Kanegasaki, Azai, and Azai Clan and Oda Clan's alliance, marriage alliance and vassalage are terminated. Um, and then, we, there we go. Undertaking at Anegawa. Endo Naotsune dies, Magara Naotaka dies. So if anything, you could say that the only gains that the, the Oda Tokugawa coalition got is that they killed some generals on the, the enemy side. Which is nice, I suppose. Uh, although they, from this battle, they would... Well, mm, I mean, winning is always good because it means... Uh, it means uh, you're... Uh, you're... Uh, ass asserting your might, right? It prevents the enemy from, like, pushing forward. But yeah, it wasn't completely a great, great victory, though. Anyways. 
Let's see. Oh, here's say we have something happening in the Trosokabe clan right here. Right here. There we go. Let's see. Assault on the Ichijoko. Ah, there we go. So now the the, the Trosokabe are going to start uh, taking over the entirety of Shikoku. So here we go. I think we saw this cutscene last time, but now it's actually going to be relevant. Nicknamed Little Princess in his youth, Chosokabe Motochika later grew into such a mighty warrior that he became known instead as Little Demon. After destroying the Aki clan, the only remaining obstacle to expanding his power in Tosa was the Ichijo clan. Now the, that the Aki has fallen, that Aki has fallen, there is no better time to strike at the Ichijo! Do you not agree, brother? Motochika's younger brother, Kira Chikasada, was a scion of Tosa's prominent Kira clan and a fearsome warrior in his own right. Let us not be rash. The Ichijo once saved our clan from the brink of destruction and supported my father's return to Oko Castle. We owe them a great debt. To repay it with treachery would invite divine retribution. When the brother's grandfather, Chosokabe Kanetsubo, was eliminated by the Motoyama clan, Ichijo Fusaie took their infant father, Kunichika, under his protection. Every man amongst the Chosokabe knows that. I'm asking whether it will stay your hand. I will hear no excuses, brother. If it is divine retribution you fear, I shall gladly suffer it in your stead. <laughs> well spoken, Chikasada. I see that we are of one mind. It is rare enough to hear my brother laugh, let alone with such glee. Two generations have passed between the current head, Tanesada, and Ichijo Fusaye, who saved our father. We owe the man nothing. Today, we march against the Ichijo. Chikasada, you will take command. I will not let you down. Tell you the truth, I have made plans in anticipation of this day. Would you hear? Would you hear them? Could it be that he always intended to attack the Ichijo? Was he just waiting for me to propose it? And so, in defiance of the decades-old debt, the Chosokabe clan resolved to topple the Ichijo clan and unite Tosa under their rule. There we go. The Battle of a Birdless Island begins his expansion. Although he's gonna have to take to also fight the the Miyoshi right here. We already seen that cutscene, you know? Yeah, we saw it last uh, last stream. But uh, it's gonna be more relevant now because we get to see the actual follow up to that. While in the in the previous stream we weren't able to see the follow up. Anyways, there we go. We got our irrigation canal built right here. Let's make another. I like building irrigation canals because it protects us from natural disasters and. It, in case you know, um, Japan gets hit by a lot of natural disasters, and this game does it a lot too. Here we go. War is spreading across the land. May all the people of the land put their trust in me, Nobunaga. Nice, nice, nice. We got this. There we go. Now that we have discretionary power assignment, I can now give orders for all my castles to do things. So I'm gonna make them all be like attack based. That means that they start building training grounds and irrigation canals, which gives them troops and crops and all that, which is good. Although, maybe I should make Narumi be more of a civil center. Yeah, I do want a better economy too. There's not really much territory to be gained there anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do the same here. Civil. He also will be an attack castle. There we go. Oda Nobutada, that's uh, Nobunaga's eldest son. Uh, you also be for attack. Ikeda Tsuneoki. Let's see, Ogaki Castle, attack again. There we go, and now I can do all this without using my labor, right? Because if I didn't have the discretionary power assignment policy, uh, every single castle that, that's doing like things on their own would use, um, would use my labor, and that means I can't do anything anymore. So, with that, with that policy, it's fine. There we go. Attack. And, and I... Yeah, these castles will, have, will do things on their own because they are provinces. So we don't have to do anything. But now that we are enemies of the Azai, I'm gonna take Sawayama. Because now this will allow me to connect uh, Omi to Mino. And that's something I wanna do. We're gonna take that ASAP. Well, unless there's something else that I need to check. No, I think I can definitely take Sawayama. Yeah, I can take Sawayama, no problem. 
Okay, good. Let's take Sawayama immediately. Because I want the, I want to connect, you know, these territories. Because, you know, I'm not going to take Nagashima. Because that's historically inaccurate. So, what we're going to do immediately is militarize and set Sawayama as a target. The target is Sawayama Castle. We'll smite our enemies. It will, this will serve as a foundation to our new world order. There we go. And now they will start militarizing. They will start... Oh, wait, there's another cutscene. Ah, the whole... There we go. As you can see, this is where the Ikoiki will join in on the fight. The Honganji Uprising. As head priest of the Honganji, the head temple that governed followers nationwide, Kenyo was troubled. The cause for his, for his concern was the man serving, or rather, manipulating Shogun Ashikaga Yoshiaki, the one who wielded true power, Oda Nobunaga. Oda Nobunaga. Though he has no respect for the gods and Buddha, I hear he is tolerant of Christianity. How is my order to deal with this man? Actually, let me just decrease the audio a bit because it's really loud. <laughs> I can barely hear myself. Alright, there we go. Back to 80%. Yeah, I hear he is tolerant of Christianity. How is my order to deal with these men? In the capital, the congregation's opposition to the Hoke uprising, as well as their opposition to the Hosokawa clan and Rokako clan, had led to the destruction of the Yamashina Honganji. Fleeing from the blazing Yamashina, Shonyo had no choice but to relocate Honganji to Ishiyama in Osaka. Osaka. Given the circumstances, Shonyo's son Kenyo struggled to maintain relationships with the clans that held sway over the capital and its surroundings. His relations with the shogun, Yoshiteru, and Na Miyoshi Nagayoshi was certainly not bad, but a man named Nobunaga, who was pull pulling the strings of the former, seemed to pull pose something of a threat. He has made a puppet of the shogun, and his grip on the capital is only growing tighter. In time, he may come for my followers. If Nobunaga is to make enemies of us, it would likely prove wise to make the first move and revolt before he has a chance to suppress us. Though they lost at Anegawa, the Asakura and the Azai remain strong enemies of Nobunaga. If we were to join with them, perhaps we might nip the man's threat in the butt. This is a critical point for followers of the nation over, who believe in Amina Butsu's salvation. It gives me pause indeed. The head priest, Kenyo, overcame his anxiety and made a decision, calling for followers, followers across the nation to stand against Oda Nobunaga. Because again, Buddhist warrior monks, they, even though they were supposed to be far away from politics, they all the time, they all the time interfered in politics and started making revolts and rebellions and the uh, Ryakuji monks even attacked the capital at some point. But yeah, so there we go. Now the, the Ishiyama Honganji Ikoiki sect will begin to uh, rise, rile up the followers to fight Nobunaga. Nobunaga is an enemy of Buddhism! Rise up one and all! Namu Amida Butsu! like church right now. <laughs> Namu Amida Butsu! By the way, Namu Amida Butsu is uh, what they... what the... Uh, uh, what was it called? The fuck, the Mahayana, Bu the Mahayana uh, Buddhism sect of the Ikoiki believe that all that's all you have to say before you die, and you'll uh, be re reborn in the Pure Land. Yeah, so that's why you can live as sinful of a life as you, as you can if you say Namu Amida Butsu before you die. According to the Ikoiki sect of uh, the Mahayana Buddhism, you 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 get reborn in the Pure Land. Yeah, at least that's what I understood, or at least what they themselves believed back then in this period. What did you say? Honganji is revolting? Can you? You bastard! To think that not only the Asakura and the Azai, but even Honganji would turn on us. Is my authority as Shogun so meek? Or is Nobunaga's reputation to blame? Do not worry, instead watch as Honganji is brought to heal again. Honganji had revolted at last, and they would remain at war with the Oda clan for decades to come. Yep. 
No samurai clan ever lasted as long as the Honganji did. As the Ikoiki Buddhist warrior monks did. Oh, there we go. Nobunaga Besiege. That's the name of the stream. Hey! The yeah, Asakura and Azai already opposed Oda Nobunaga. And with even Ohunganji against him now, war was on the horizon. Besides these forces, other clans of varying size also rebelled against Ashikage Yoshiaki and Oda Nobunaga. It was as if Nobunaga himself was under siege. So it's come to this. Adversaries everywhere will look. Is there some way out of this? Yes, fret not. Lord Nobunaga has assured us that he will deal with every last one of our enemies. And restore stability, my lord. Well, if you say so. Accordingly, I must take my leave, as I too must ready for battle. Excuse me. Hmm, I wonder what will come of, of all this. Things cannot go on this way. Lord Shogun, do you mean to die alongside Oda Nobunaga? Voices of the Sent are already crying out across the nation, each of them displeased with the Oda clan. Even within the Oda, voices of the Sent are rising up. What are you talking about? Have you evidence? Though they are amenable at present, Matsunaga is a hider and the likes are waiting for their moment to mutiny. Of course, these are mere rumors, but... Matsunaga? He was a wicked man from the start. Not to mention one of his men murdered my brother. I would not lose sleep over someone of his ilk turning on me. It is not Matsunaga alone. The most pressing threat to you, Lord Shogun, is Oda Nobunaga himself. Perhaps you ought to, to cut that tie before it cuts you. Spare me that nonsense! The Oda clan is a vital vital pillar of support for the Ashkagas we are. You think I would so readily cut them loose now? If things do not change, the sorrows of anti Oda Nobunaga sentiment will surge and sweep even you away, Lord Shogun. Hosoka Masum Masamoto, Ochi Yoshioki, Hosoka Watakakuni, Miyoshi Nagayoshi. For generations Shogun have survived by carefully replacing Daimyo who hold too much power. I believe another method might be to replace Nobunaga with another Daimyo. If we could find a substitute, that is. You mean to say that this country boasts a Daimyo that could rival him? The one I suspect is most afraid of that Nobunaga is most afraid of is Takeda Shingen to the east. Should you command it, Lord Shogun, Shingen would doubtless ready an army, and Oda will not stand a chance. I doubt that Takeda would come. And Kai is a distant, distant country. Keep your fantasies to yourself in the future. But if Takeda Shingen were to soon rise up to overthrow Nobunaga, how would you proceed, Lord Shogun? Hmm. There we go, the seeds of the scent. <laughs> there we go, the Honganji uprising. The following clans form alliances, the Honganji and the Asai clan and the Honganji and the Asakura clan. There we go. So yeah, as you'll see, the Takeda clan is a giant clan to the east, as you can see, they are massive. But uh, we are allies with them now, but they might not stay allies for long. <laughs> uh, same thing here with the Matsunaga and the Ashikaga, they might not stay allies for long, so... Yeah, anyways, let's, uh, let's keep taking over everything here. Let's appease the tribe door. We can, we can even, yeah, distant employment, why not? Let's employ more people, sure, why not? Um, hearsay, there's something happening in the Hojo clan, hmm, let me see what it is. Uh, so I'm gonna focus on crops right now, because in terms of economy, we're kind of doing fine, honestly. So I'm gonna focus on my economy, so that, um, uh, on my crops, so that I can get more troops, because we're gonna have to fight a lot. But before that, let's go to Kanto right now, right here, on the massive Hojo clan, led, led by Hojo Ujiasu. Let's see what, what's going on there. Ujiyasu's fox... We've seen this cutscene twice now. I'm gonna skip it, guys, because we've seen this twice already. Yeah, yes, they see a, they see they hear a fox. He makes a poem about the fox. And uh, and then they talk about the croakstone. We've seen this cutscene like twice or thrice already in past, in past streams. No need to see it again. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, let's wait for my territory to militarize. So we can uh, take Sawayama. And uh, we'll, we'll start making training grounds here. We want to take this Omi. Southern Omi will be ours. Military roadwork. Ooh, useful. Useful, useful. 
Might not use that, but still, I'm definitely gonna use that. Oh, I think the militarizations are finishing. Yeah, there we go, Inuyama is, is finished. Something is happening in the Uesugi clan right here. Oh, the, the, the Takeda themselves are ready to attack something. I, are they going to attack the Hojo? Probably. Because if I remember correctly, the Hojo and the Takeda are at war. Meanwhile, let's see what's going on with the Westsugi. The, uh, the Westsugi, right here. Nanao Castle, okay. I'm going to skip this, guys, because this is not supposed to happen right now. This is not supposed to happen right now. This is only supposed to happen in 1577. We're seven years earlier. But the, the, the Westsugi clan AI really likes taking over this territory way sooner than it should. Because it is the taking of this castle that triggers the Westsugi and the Oda to be at war. But as you can imagine, we are very far away from the Westsugi. Because, you know, by that point we will have conquered Echizen and Kaga. But we don't have that now because it's way too soon. So I'm gonna skip that cutscene. It's not supposed to happen right now. Um... There we go. So, so, Training so, rounds. So, Over there. Oh, I want to destroy Sawayama. So, it's gonna make it easier, yeah. If I can destroy Sawayama, it's gonna be much, much easier to take overall. Oh, more hearsay going on. The Mogami clan, the Mogami Mogami, it's in northern Japan, right here. It's this clan right here. Led by Mogami Yoshiaki. The Fox of Ushu. It was the day Mogami Yoshimori, clan leader of the Mogami clan, retired and was succeeded by his heir, Mogami Yoshiaki. The reason for Yoshimori's retirement remains unclear for now. Conflicting reports speak of possible disputes between him and Yoshiaki. Date clan, Date Terumune's castle. It seems Lord Yoshiaki has become clan leader of the Mogami. Indeed. What sort of man is Lord Yoshiaki? In case you don't remember, uh, Yoshihime over here is the, the sister of uh, Yoshiaki, Mogami Yoshiaki. What sort? Well, he is a doting brother. He often sends me letters. Would you like to see them? No, not now. I've seen them. I've seen one before. That letter was considerate indeed. You really can't judge people by their appearances. Have you anything else to share? I can say only that he is the, as the rumors describe him. Merciful, with bravery surpassed by none in battle, and obeyed by soldiers and civilians alike. I see. I have heard him called by such name as uh, the Ushu Fox, though. I expect such names are circulated by those who do not look kindly of my, on my brother. He is a, he's brave and compassionate, honest and genuine, open-hearted, without any hidden intentions. In fact, I find myself fretting that, in these warlike times, the unjust might take advantage of my brother. I may not trust every word, but the man who of whom she speaks does sound not sound indeed not sound the slice of. I hear he possesses a frightful strength though. I would like to witness it in battle. He is quite strong though, that's true. Though bound by marital ties, the Mogami clan and the Data clan were keener to suppress than support one another. Their relationship was so tense that war could not be ruled out of if Fisher, if Fisher were to form. As such, it was only natural that Tare Terumune would inquire to Yoshiaki nature, as to Yoshiaki's nature, or even potential weaknesses, since the latter would had just become, become clan leader. Damn, I'm reading everything terrible right now. Alright, Mogami Yoshiaki succeeds Mogami Yoshimori as daimyo. But the, the happenings in the in the northeast is not really that important right now, at all, and it's not going to be relevant for a while. Right, um, there we go. I think all my territory has finished, uh, has finished um, doing their things. Uh, I do not want to march with these territories though. Just, um, actually, no, never mind. I have an alliance with the with the Takeda. They will not be attacking me. No typhoon yet. Not not yet. All right. Everyone march. I don't think I need that many troops, though. Aha! Shiro Ubauzu! Uh, my troops in Kyosu, led by Odo Nobutada. 
There we go. Gifu. Actually, let's wait. Nice, nice. Yeah, the Azai are calling the help of the Asakura for this. That's not a problem, though. We will take them all. Oh, wait. And we will march with uh, with Hino and Kanonji as well. We also have the the troops from our from our tribes that we are influential on. Oh, we have a uh, oh Senorikyo. Let's go. That's a good officer. All right. Let's see. Uh, my troops at Ogaki will also march. Itetsu Inaba. Oh, oh, nice. Let's go. Our our sabotage worked. Uh, the castle is at half health. Okay, but stuff is happening in the west. So let's see what's going on in the west. In the Ryuzoji clan, right here is the Ryuzoji clan, led by Ryuzoji Takanobu in Kyushu. Battle with Imayama. <clears throat> Hakata, a large trade port in Kita Kyushu. Kyushu's official, Kyushu official Otomo Sorin and hero of Chugoku, Mori Motonari, fought fiercely over this place. Amidst the conflict, one Ryuzoji Takanobu made a name for himself in his end by defeating the clan leader of the Shoni clan and expanding his own. Otomo clan, Otomo Sorin's castle. Huh, Motonari, that decrepit old fox! So he's finally given up on Hakata. It seems the Lord Yoshioki's plan worked. Motonari may have no choice but to stay in Chugoku now. Is that so? And we can concentrate our efforts in dealing into dealing with that thug, Takanobu. Indeed. Shall we set about preparing for battle? Ryuzoji clan, Ryuzoji Takanobu's castle. Yotomo have finally began assembling their soldiers. It looks as though we shall bear the brunt of their attacks here in Hizen. <laughs> So they really mean to come? Is this not an overreaction? I doubt even an apology will help much now. Expanding our domain will surely see us invading Chikuzen and Chikuku anyway. We have no choice but to settle this. Ah, you're right. Then we'd best brace ourselves. Even if you're ready, Lord Takanobu, many in our house are afraid of the Otomo. They will need to be persuaded if we are to do battle. I'll leave that luck to you, Naoshige. I'll just shut my mouth and nod my head. Wait, wait, did you say something? Ah, the Yuzoji... Huh? Ah, oh, never mind. The Yuzoji Takanobu and his senior vassal, Nabeshima Naoshige, were brothers-in-law. Following the death of Takanobu's father, Chikaie, his mother, Keiginni, Keiginni, deemed that Ryuzoji, the Ryuzoji would need the Nabeshima's strength and became second wife to Naoshige's father, Kiyo Fusa. As Keiginni had hoped, Naoshige's prowess in political and military matters flourished, and he made indispensable contributions to the Ryuzoji clan. The Battle of Imayama, the greatest crisis that would face Takanobu and Naoshige, Legion Vassal, would soon begin. Ho ho ho! And then, there we go, the follow-up to that cutscene, Naoshige's resolve. Hi Imayama, Hizen, Otomo Army Camp. E e enemy stop! Enemy spotted! A night attack! The enemy is in, in, is in the disarray! Take their commander's head! This story begins several hours earlier. Ryuzoji Takanobu's Castle. Though Ryuzoji Takanobu, clan leader of the Ryuzoji, was ready to do battle with the Otomo, he did not agree with the night attack Naoshige had proposed. Lord Takanobu, the enemy appears to be celebrating early with drinks. Tonight is the ideal opportunity for a night attack. A night attack? Do you not think that a little hasty? It is because it is hasty that it will work. It's the exact same strategy that Oda Nobunaga did at Okehazama. He attacked at night while the, while the Imagao were celebrating. Hmm, give me a moment to think on it. Several minutes later. Naoshige, I now understand. March on the enemy at once and launch a, launch a night attack. Grant me my requests, now we will begin preparations. 
Should this knife attack fail, I will not return to this castle. Here And here is my proof for my conviction. Now Shige unsheathed his sword and sliced the tatami mat twice. This gesture was a form of Ryuzoji clan marching etiquette. With that, I take my leave. Your spirit is downright frightful now, Shige. I've never seen that look on your face before. I will take it to my grave that the reason I came around to this idea was because of my mother's scolding. And so, now Shige's do or die night attack saw the Otomo army fall into chaos. Following their win at Imayama, the Ryuzoji clan reorganized, closing the gap between themselves and the Otomo army. It is said that this recovery played a part in their later expansion. It goes without saying that, as the catalyst for Ryuzoji's development, the calm yet passionate schemer known as Nabeshima Naoshige was a key figure in all of this. Yeah, he's a quite, a, quite a smart guy. The Otomon Ryuzoji clan declared a truce for 60 months. There we go, and now the Ryuzoji can expand comfortably throughout everywhere. They can, they can conquer, they can conquer the Kamachi clan, they can conquer the Sumitada Omura clan, they can conquer the Arima, the Arima clan, they can conquer the Matsura clan, they can conquer the Soul clan. Easy. Meanwhile, the Shimazu are taking over the three states over here. Anyways, but back to where we are. We're, we're invading Sawayama in Omi. Alright. There we go. We don't need to raise Sawayama Castle, that's not required. Alright, now let's continue. The, even though I probably don't need to develop anything. Because uh, this scenario, we're gonna play it for two years only. Well, kinda three. Three years, because it's December of 1572. Anyways. Inaba march to Sawayama. Here we go. If we need reinforcements, we'll, we'll march with the tribes, but I really don't think we need them. Well, that depends on the Asakura troops. Ah! Uh, the Azai clan is spreading rumors on my clan. And here, let me see. Ah, uh, Inabai Kitsu. Here. Don't trust the rumors. Take this. Yeah, I'm giving the, the 99 caddy. See, now he likes me more. He doesn't trust the rumors anymore because I gave him a very valuable treasure. Alright. They're marching. Let's start. Let's ask uh, help from one of the tribes. While, while everyone is fighting over there, we'll march with the, with the rest of our troops into Sawayama directly. There we go. We'll bring this tribe as well. Everyone attacking Sawayama. And immediately Niwanagahide marches as well. There we go. I do not... Mm, yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna march with anything else. Uh, let me see. Ooh, we're getting pincered here. That's not good. But we have far more troops than they do. Alright. Time for a fight! We'll, we'll defeat the Azai troops before the Asakura troops can, re can reach to, to relieve them. And then we'll surround Sawayama and leave a token force behind to, pre to kinda block the Asakura's reinforcements. That's gonna be the plan here. Alright. We have the majority. We have like almost double their troops. We're fine. We have also more units. Alright, so let's see. I want to take the center. Hmm. Nobunaga. Nobunaga is good to take. Nobunaga is good to go into the front lines. I'm going to have him take the center. Let's see. Hmm. Ando Morinari. Um. Mori Yoshinari is strong. Um. I want someone with a sizable unit to go there. Inabai Tetsu, Inabai Tetsu can go over here. Nobutada can go together with his father Nobunaga. Uh, Nobu Nobuhiro can go. I'm gonna have more. Yeah, I think this is fine actually. I'm gonna have Mori Yoshinari go over here. Um, over here. God damn it. Over here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, no, there we go. Um, yeah, that's good. I'm go I'm gonna do it like this. I probably like more reinforcements, though. All depends on what Azai Nagamasa does. If Azai Nagamasa comes to the center, these three will advance through here, these, three, these two will advance through here, and Nobunaga will go through here. Or, actually no, I can have Nobutada go with Nobunaga into the center. 
if Nagamasa goes in, in here to the west, um, I'm gonna send more troops to reinforce here because Nagamasa is strong. He's, he's actually a strong officer. Um, yeah, as you can see, Nagamasa is the strongest officer they have. Nobunaga will defeat the center. Nothing here can, can beat him. Wagamitsu. Until then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Nobutada here. No, you don't go there. You will go together with Nobuhiro. Nobunaga and uh, Nagamasa seems to be coming to the center. That's good. Right, just in case you can take that. All right, he's coming to the center. That's good. That's good. In that case, I'm gonna have uh, Ando Morinari go over here. Make sure I block all the entrances so that the enemy does not get the opportunity to pincer us. There we go. So Inaba Itetsu is fighting Takeda, Takeda Nobutoyo. He has more troops and he's also a better officer, so he's gonna be fine. He can contest that key point. The enemy got that key point though, that's buffing all their troops now. We have that. Mm -hmm. Okay, if they're all going there, yeah, I definitely want Ando Morinari to go over here. In instead, I'm gonna have Nobuhiro pressure this key point over here. Because it will take away some of the troops over there. Then, when Morio Shinari is done, he's gonna sneak back and take that disengagement point. Yeah, Nobutada will come here, he can then shoot arrows against this unit. And oh, there we go. Oh, nice muskets. Yeah, shoot those muskets. And then he can like come here to help Nobunaga's father because uh, I'm just afraid that this unit might come over here and then pincer Nobunaga. I don't want that. So I want Nobutada to come here and block him. Yeah, it's nice, nice. We got, we got the high ground. We got the high ground. Now we're shooting there. We're shooting at, over here. One of their units is already retreating. There we go. We got them in a pincer over here. N Nagamasa is stuck in a pincer. He's getting crushed now. Oh, okay, this unit is not coming over here to pincer us. He's coming here to relieve. That's fine. That's good. Because Nobutada has the high ground. Right, you can stay here for a while. We're gonna start pressuring over here, the disengagement point. Alternatively, I could go here and try and block the, the the exit of Nagamasa, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Because taking the disengagement point is usually more valuable. Okay, but not to be fair, I want to coordinate the attack though. I want both of them to be there at the same time. There we go, we're doing great here. Victory is ours, really. We've already won this. Nobunaga awakening! And now he's even stronger! Look at his stats. Insane! Okay, you can go. Nobuhiro, go, 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 go. There we go. Nakao Kyotsuna. Nobutada still shooting arrows over here. There you go, Nagamasa is retreating. Let's pursue him. We got we got the key point. Alright, keep going over there. We got the middle. We go over there. There you go, he's retreating. Alright. Once the arrows stop, you can send Nobutada to chase after the enemy throne. Kill them! It is an absolute clan. Oh, destroyed. Nobody died, nobody died. Alright. Yeah, look at the morale. <laughs> this guy is going to retreat and that's going to be our victory. Yep, there we go. Victory is ours, their morale plummeted. I 
let's see the casualties. I think our casualties should be minimal. Because we were winning in all fronts. Yeah, look at, the, look at the casualties. We were winning in all fronts. And there we go. Easy. Alright. Innovated to get some more honor. And this! Witness my authority! All that is mine. We've been destroyed, we cannot afford to keep the fight! We must reassert my authority over my domain. Keep anyone from defecting. If this was a regular campaign, I'd honestly take over both Sayawa, Sayama, Sawayama and Odani, because... He can't do anything against us. Yeah, yeah. Surrounding four counties betrayed to join your clan. The Azai clan's Odani castle has been ag agitated, rendering march unavailable. Relations with six clans, including the Ashkaga clan, have improved. Retainer officer loyalty has temporarily increased. Nice. Alright. So here's the plan. These units... Go to Sawayama. I want Mori Yoshinari and Nozo Nobuhiro to go over there and wait for the Asakura reinforcements. Oh, wait. Oh, did I kill them already? Oh, never mind. The Asakura reinforcements were in the battle already. I already crushed them. Never mind. Yeah, Sawayama is easy pickings. Oh. Oh. There we go. We, we finally have Gamo Yasuhide in our, uh, in our army. He's a good officer. Also known more, uh, more commonly as Gamo Ujisato. He's gonna change his name later, that's why. Gamo Yasuhide's castle. On this day, Gamo Yasuhide met with a newly enlisted retainer to the Gamo clan. From this day forward, I will serve the Gamo clan. I look forward to receiving your guidance. Yes, and I look forward to observing your accomplishments in, in our service. Ah, but of course, I should show you the proper way of getting married with us. On the battlefield, look for the retainer wearing a silver Nama Namazuo helmet. You will find him rushing about on the front lines. If you work hard to best him, you will certainly gain merit. A silver Namazuo helmet? Like the one you're wearing right now? <laughs> a few days later... Hey, rookie! The time for battle has finally come! Yes, I was told by my lord that there would be a warrior re wearing a silver helmet in the vanguard, and that I should do my best to outperform him. <laughs> We've all been told the same. Don't get your hopes up, though. It's an impossible feat. Impossible? Why do you say that? Come, take a look over there. The veteran retainer pointed in the direction of the bold and brave Yasuhide, adorned with his silver Namazuo helmet. But it is my lord himself! That's right, there's no one there's no way anyone will outdo him in battle. We can barely keep up. Oh my, I've joined quite an incredible clan. Gamo Yasuhide often said the following. Standing on the battlefield and yelling charge will not suffice to motivate your soldiers. Instead, the leader himself must charge ahead and command the rest to follow. That way the soldiers will have no reason to abandon, and they will surely follow. There we go. He's a good officer. I think the reason why we're having this cutscene is because he's right now somewhere in one of these units that I just brought forward. I think he might be in his father's unit right here with Gamo Katahide. Gamo Katahide is his father. Unit info. Officers. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, Gamo Yasuhide. We got this cutscene because the requirement is that he has to march around this time. And he's in the same unit as his father, Katahide. And his grandfather, Sadahide. There we go. Alright, Sawayama is easy pickings. I'd love to take Odani, but that would be historically inaccurate. So we're not taking Odani. I'd love to destroy the Azai right now. Alright, we don't need to unify Tokai right now. No need, no need. Alright, there we go. Now wait, let's go home and eat mochi or something. Easy. Oh. That's fine. That's theirs, I think. Wait, is it theirs? Wait. This is not yours. Alright. I need your help, Nagahide. There's someone here who's being naughty. 
We need to destroy him. Alright. I'd love to take that. I feel so tempted to just take that castle. Anyways. I need to assign a castle lord. Sawayama. Who's gonna be the lord of Sawayama? Let's see. Ooh, Shibata Katsuhige. Mm. Mm. Ah, like it. Ooh, you know what? Oh, these are all very good officers. I want to give them all castles. Gamu Yasuhide. Akechi Mitsuhide. Akechi Mitsuhide. You know what? Fine. Mm, wait, no. Shibata Katsuhige. Katsuhige is like a very good officer, so... Let's see. Ooh, Shibata Katsuyo. Goes with them. Because they're family, and that means they buff each other. Let's see. Anyone else? No, no. Ooh, but I can give you more, someone with the with on the offensive. Because that means he becomes even more aggressive in battle. I mean he, he has a higher attack stat that way. That gives him a higher defense stat, and we can even also give him a defense at most devotion. There we go. Take care of Sawayama, Katsui, and now we have a, a connection, a direct connection between Omi and Mino, which is good. I don't like this, thank you. Itetsui Nabai is coming over there. Takeda Nobutora, oh, oh, it's a, uh, it's Takeda Shingen's father, look at that. He's still alive. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I could probably put someone here. Arigatai no! Arigatai no! Let's see... Zenrikyu... Arigatai no! Alright, prevent that guy. He's one of those Ikoiki fellas. Uh, can I... Oh. Wait, what do you mean? No march destination available, what do you mean? Fight! It's fine. Itetsu Inaba is really strong. Inaba Itetsu is very strong. Alright, let's go for another one of these. Yes, yeah, spam training grounds. Improve our farm so we can get more supplies and more troops. I should also be able to improve my yeah, my my policies. I'll do it. Because that way I can change around castle wards and all that. Takes cost some money, but that's fine. Daimyo alias. Mm, no need to do anything right now. Covert actions. Oh, he's good at coverts. Really? Oh, that's actually really good. Sure. You can be the wise. It's fine. We'll defeat the Buddhist warrior monks. The the reinforcements are coming. Niwan Nagahide is, is over, almost there. Alright, Inaba Itetsu, go back home. You, you fought well. There we go. Okay. Honestly, I kinda just wanna take over all of this. I might just do it. Let's take over everything. Yeah. All these territories are mine. I might not take over the castle, but I can still take the territory. The land is mine. Eshu Yasuharu. Has passed away. Right, I also have vassals. I could also do something like this, right? This is loyalty. Okay, never mind. I don't, don't want to use any of that. Musketeer? I like musketeers. I like muskets a lot in this game. Fair commerce. Let's see. Meritocracy is good. Hmm. Iresada Hayashi. Hmm, uh, I think for now I don't need to do anything. Yeah. I think instead, I just need something that gives me a more immediate effect. Standing army is good. It makes this cheaper, and since I'm spamming training halls, it makes it, it ends up being good. Oh, hi. Alright. He was defeated. That's not an issue.
There we go. What can I do else here? I'd really like to have a shooting gallery over here. I might actually say for that. If I... I might be able to do this, right? Yeah, I am. Let's get gunnery instruction so I can get a shooting gallery. We got ourselves our system reform. Can we get more? Ah, we need more officers. The other ones are busy. Something is happening in the Westsugi clan. Let's see what's going on in the Westsugi clan. Uh, Westsugi Fushikian Kenshin. Ah, he changed his name finally. There we go. Westsugi... Westsugi Terutora, formerly known as Westsugi Masatora, formerly known as, as Nagao Kagetora. Finally changed his name again. Once again. Westsugi Kenshin. Fi for good. This is the last time he changes his name. It's the last time. No more name changes for him. Always a devout believer of Buddhism, Uesugi Terutora was quizzed by his mentor, Soken ya Yakuo, as to the nature of ignorance. Ignorance is... It is not simply the absence of knowledge. It is the absence of a desire to know. And the path to knowing all things, all creation, is not in merely knowing what ignorance is. It is in leaving all to Buddha and simply walking his path. <laughs> That is precisely the path I will believe in. Having learned this, I will change my name, and the meanings of its characters shall reflect your teachings. I am now Fushikian Kenshin. And so, Uesugi Terutora changed his name to Uesugi Kenshin, and grew even more devoted to the way of the Buddha. There we go. Uesugi Terutora's name changes to Uesugi Kenshin. There we go. Alright, but back to where we were. We can extract. Polo Takatora? He's not supposed to join us, but that's an amazing officer. We can also ask help from this tribe. Yeah, I'm gonna actually wait. I don't have a direct connection over there. Never mind, you can go back. I'm gonna ask Nobutada to take over that terrain instead. Form two. All right. Both of you take over that terrain. Oh, more stuff happening this time in the Date Clan. What's going on in the Date Clan? Did expanding? Ah, Kojiro, Katakura Kojiro's coming of age. Katakura Kayetsuna Kojiro, wait, Katakura Kojiro Kayetsuna had come of age. In time, his keen intellect will bring victory onto the battlefield, on the battlefield and lead the Date clan to glory. But for now, Katakura Kojiro had only taken his first steps onto the new stage of this war-torn world. That's it, that's the cutscene. He's going to be uh, Date Masamune's right hand. A very good strategist. There we go. Oh, we got him. We got, we got Togo Takatora, let's go. Not historically accurate, technically, but it, it's not going to influence anything, so you're fine. The Shimazu clan? What's going on with the Shimazu clan? Shimazu clan right here? Ah, I see. The Shin Sai's letter. We've already read this like twice now. So I'm not going to read that again. Uh, our policy is almost there. I'm definitely going to raise Iga Ueno. Not that they want to do anything with us, to be fair. Encounter with Kanbei. Kuroda Kanbei was the son of Kuroda Mototaka the chief retainer of the Kodera clan, who in turn served the Akamatsu, governors of Harima. When his family began to debate over whether they should side with the Oda clan or the Mori clan, he came out fiercely in favor of the Oda. Of the Oda. Being a person of exceptional, exceptional talent, he was dispatched to personally carry the message to, the, to Oda Nobunaga. 
So you reject the Mori and cast your lot with me? A wise decision. They say you have the sharpest mind in Harima. And I see that is no lie. Master Chief, huh? The Mori may have their two rivers, but they are led by, by a fool. Terumoto is not half the man you are, my lord. You proved that when you rose from Oari to conquer the capital. You proved that when you rose from Oari to conquer the capital. Ha! Huh. You are you have a flatterous tongue. Nonetheless, I take you up on your offer. Long have we hoped for a foothold in Arima. But I must ensure your loyalty. Kambe, you will place your eldest son in Hideyoshi's care. Hideyoshi, you will, will you will accompany Kambe into Harima. <laughs> Understood. And Kambe, take this in recognition of your potential. I, I am honored, my lord. This is a magnificent blade. Its name is Heshikiri. Heshikiri, take it and cleave Chugoku wide open. Odakwan, Kinoshita Hideyoshi's wrestler. What did he think of Lord Nobunaga? In what sense? I want to know what the sharpest mind in Harim has to say about the man. You didn't hold back. He is a, a man of great presence. A man who seems destined to rule. Very interesting. And what, pray tell, do you think of me? I hear this man worked his way up from humble beginnings to become one of Oda's most trusted retainers. What am I to say? Kitchen sh chief sack. Oh, I see, I see. I see, master chef. That's what you mean. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. No need to think too deeply. Speak your mind. My lord, forgive me, but... Are you not Lord ha Takenaka Hanbei? Hi. So I am. I see that you are well informed. There is no one in the land who has not heard your name. <laughs> but enough about me. Lord Hideyoshi awaits your answer. Bah! No need! It is all too clear what Kanbei thinks of me. What game is this? And Nobunaga's ambition awakening. It's a game about about the Sengoku period of Japanese history. The, the one period where Japan was split into many, 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 many clans fighting each other for influence. My lord, if I have given offense... Come on! <laughs> I jest, I jest. But I have learned one thing about you. You're no liar. If I could say the same about Hanbei here... I concur, you are a cautious man, but not a dishonest one. The sort I would happily have at my side. Surely every, stra every strategist must practice the seat to succeed, my lord. That I am such a poor liar can only mean that I fall short. Please, one charlatan is quite enough for our camp, I assure you. <laughs> ha! You're quite right at that. In any case, Kanbei, you will be our foothold in Harima. Don't let us know now! I have never known men so cheerful or confident as the servants of the Oda. So this is what it means to dream of conquest. Their strength might well change Harima for the better. With the usurping of the Akamatsu clan by the Uragami, Harima disintegrated into a patchwork of opposing factions. And as the Mori to the west and the Oda to the east both prepared for war, these factions began to, us to skirmish among them themselves. Hideyoshi made for Harima to put an end to their squabbling and unite them into a bulwark against the Mori offensive. And thanks to the talented wiles of the recently welcomed Kuroda Kambe, the Besho clan fell in line behind the Oda, prompting to the rest of the warring clans to follow suit. There we go. The Akamatsu clan becomes a vassal of the Oda clan. The Besho clan becomes a vassal of the Oda clan. There we go, right here. This, this is these regions. Here you have the Akamatsu clan, and here you have the Besho clan. Both of them are our vassals now. Nice. We're getting more influence now. Uh, I'm gonna set, actually... I'm gonna make my province over here. I'm gonna... Oh, wait. Really? Miyoshi Yoshitsugu takes over this province, huh? Anyways, I'm gonna have this province. Not permitted. I want you to assist. Wait, you can't assist? Weird. 
Never mind. More people to hang out, yeah! Anyways, you don't conquer Honganji. That's a bad idea. Anyways. Oh wait, there's more hearsay. Stuff is happening in the in the in the in the Hojo clan over here. Let's see. Ujiyasu dies. Ah uh, well. That's it. From here on out, it's all downhill for the Ohojo. I mean, they still last a long time, like a long time, like a few more decades. But the Hojo will never be as great anymore. Ujimasa is not a bad leader by any means, but he he's nothing compared to like every single one leader that came before him. Like Hojo Ujiyasu, Hojo Ujitsuna, Hojo Soon, they were all much, much better leaders. <clears throat> Hojo Ujiyasu, the hero of Sagami, the man who decimated the Koga Kubo and both Uesugi clans at the Battle of Kawagoe, and who went to stand against Uesugi Kenshin and Takeda Shingen as he sought to unify Kanto. His final days were approaching. Father, Ujimasa, our prospects are not ideal. I leave the future of the Hojo to you. Work with your brothers and keep Kanto safe. I will. Ujiteru, Ujikuni, please, and your brother, your aide. Of course. You have my word. Me and my brothers are well united. My one regret lies with the Takeda. Do not make enemies of them when I pass on. Seek only peace. But remember me, Mimaso. Remember Mimase Toge. Even when you lot worked together, you were no match for Shingen's tricks. We must not antagonize such a force. But if we join forces with the Takeda, I doubt the Westsugi would approve. And they have Saburo. Timika. I should not have sent Saburo as a hostage. No son deserves such straight treatment from his father. But I did what I had to for the clan. Though it means abandoning Saburo and severing ties with the Wesugi, we must pursue peace with the Takeda. Father! And so, Hojo Ujiyasu passed away. As the greatest warrior in Kanto, his death had a profound impact in the relations between many clans. Out of all characters, who is your favorite? I have so many favorites, but I think if I really, really have to choose one, Oda Nobunaga is still my favorite one. I have such a fascination for Oda Nobunaga. Like, I, uh, I like to, I, I, I think I could probably tell you his entire life. Like, from, from his birth all the way to his death, I can tell you from all the events until his death. With some details here and there. I, I really like Oda Nobunaga. You said Polk is your favorite? Yeah, yeah, of course! Polk is my favorite, of course! <laughs> do it? Nah, I can't do it. I've done that, actually, to, to one of my friends. Um, I spent seven hours talking about it. Literally. We, I ended up going to bed at 5 a.m. as a result. Because I spent like seven hours talking about Oda Nobunaga's life. From his birth to his death to a friend of mine. So, like, trust me, it's, it's best if I don't do it. <laughs> Poor Zero, no, it, it wasn't Zero, it was someone else. Zero usually, usually r runs away before I can do it. <laughs> he usually runs away when we were, like, one hour in. <laughs> Ujiyasu is dead. Easy. How many years has it been since I made that pledge with Yoshimoto at Zentokuji? Yoshimoto and Ujiyasu have both passed on to the next life. How long am I for this world, I wonder? As for Ujiyasu's parting request, the Hojo clan severed ties with the Wesugi and re-established an alliance with the Takeda. It probably bends the S sword around you. <laughs> uh, Father, you truly mean to throw me away? Kagetora, Ujiyasu may have died, but your true father is here. Your home is with the Westsugi now. Okay. Even after their alliance with the Hojo was shattered, 
Kenshin did not return Kagetora to his birth family, and the boy himself chose to stay with the Wesugi. There we go. There we go. The Hojo clan and Wesugi clan's alliance, marriage alliance, and vassalage are terminated. The following clans form alliances. The Hojo clan and the Takeda clan have a 96 month long alliance. Hojo Ujimasa succeeds Hojo Ujiyasu as Daimyo. Hojo Ujiyasu dies. There we go. Ujimasa now rules. I mean, again, the Hojo are still a formidable clan. Like, look how big they are. Also, wait. Why the hell did the... The Takeda took over Niriyama? That's not supposed to happen. Hey. And they also took Tsukui. You see what I mean about... <laughs> The, the, the Takeda are way too aggressive. Anyways, whatever. We're gonna play in this scenario for one more year anyways. Oh, more hearsay. Stuff is happening in the Mori clan. Let's see what's going on in the Mori clan right here, led by uh, Hiromoto. Ah, there we go. Motonari dies. The great leader of, of the Mori finally dies. Motonari's Testament Mori Motonari was a scheming man whose management of the once minor Mori clan saw them become rulers of Chugoku. His long life was at last approaching its end. Terumoto, you would be wise to leave the Mori clan matters to your uncles Motoharu and Takakage. Do not try to shoulder everything alone. Understood. We Mori once had but a patch of land to our name. The territories we have now are the fruits of luck and strategy. Do not grow conceited. Terumoto, do not think yourself capable of expanding our territory. You must not aim too high, nor covet the rule over the very nation. Yes, I understand. Do not forget the words of this. Mouthy old man's warnings. Grandfather! And so died Mori Motonari, a giant of the warring states. A succession dispute between siblings after their older brother's death. A clash with the Ochi and the Amago that gave rise to a retainer purge. The premature death of his heir, not to mention his seeding of countless schemes. Had he lived in times of peace, he'd have witnessed none of these events. But his was a life defined by the turmoil of the times. Yeah, I consider Motonari to be the Shingen of the West, in my opinion. He is very much the Takeda Shingen of the West, in terms of uh, how he goes about things. He's brutal, he's a scheming mind, he's really smart, really, really smart, and he made the clan big. Moriteru Moto succeeds Moriteru Motonari. As a daimyo, Mori Motonari dies. Alright, and now let's see, something's happening. The Chosokabe clan. Ah, there we go. He succeeded. I Ichijo Kanesada expelled. The rift between Kanesada, the head of the Ichijo, and his retainers only grew following the Chosokabe clan's betrayal. At the request of his father in law, Otomo Sori, Kanesada dispatched forces to Io, only to incur, incur heavy losses in battle against the Mori. His senior officer, Doi Sosan, objected to sending troops to other lands while their own territory of Tosa remained insecure. When Kanesada executed Sosan for speaking out, the rest of his retainers rebelled, fracturing the relationship beyond all repair. At last, the Ichijo retainers took Kanesada's son, Taramasa, captive and exiled the man himself from Tosa. The wretch traitors? You would banish me from my own lands? Preposterous! You know, no you know nothing, fools, you fools. That accursed Sosan was Motochika's spy. You would turn me on me for punishing disloyalty? You have not heard the last of this. I swear I will retake what is mine. Cast out from Tosa, Kanesada crossed the sea to seek the sanctuary with his wife's relatives in the Otomo clan and ended in Bungo. Truly, 
Ichijo Kanesada has been exiled. With his conduct, it was only a matter of time. Still, find fortune for us. His successor, Tadamasa, is a weak spirited man who dances on the strings of his retainers. Crushing him will, will be no great deal or deal. No, there is a better way. We still owe the Ichijo a debt, if you recall. I will not have it said that we are utterly faithless. The wedding of Motochika's daughter to Ichijo Tadamasa may still have happened if the Chosokabe had remained content to serve. But what should have been a union between loyal to retainer and noble lord instead comprised the takeover of the groom's clan by that of the brides. And so Motochika took another great step towards the unification of Tosa, without spilling a drop of blood. Lamy has, have a, has a, con a 3D concert of her third anniversary. Oh, let's go! That's nice. Ichijo Tadamasa becomes affiliated with the, the Ichi, Ichi, Ichijo, ah, with the Ichijo clan. Doi So San dies. Ichijo clan is annihilated and affiliated officers added to the Choso Kabe clan. Ichijo Kanesada becomes affiliated with the Otomo clan. Alright, let's continue. There's a lot of events happening right now. You can uh, appease that tribe. I probably can now... Oh wow, I can't do it yet. There we go, we finally have gunnery instruction. So, give me a shooting gallery. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, all good here. Is there anything else I need to take? Not really. Yeah, everyone go home. Go home. Uh, I'm not going to attack anything else because we're not supposed to. Technically, I shouldn't even have this patch as a land. But the patch of the land really don't mind anyway, so... Alright, did I set this? Yeah, I did. That's good. That is very good. I cannot keep working on gift. No, I can't. Should probably keep developing like this. Yamagino Yamagata. More farms. I probably have the officers now to further the idol. Yokaro. Yokaro. This will allow me to change castle lords now. Let's see. Should I give this to anyone? Why not? You're the statesman now. What about you? You suck. Eagle Light is nice for support though. Takigawa Kazumasu. Ooh, 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 I like this. Niwe Nagahide. He's a smart man. Ooh, honestly, this is not bad. I, I like to make him a civil. But. Having faster confuses is not bad. Sure. There we go, that's finished. I can probably also open up a slot here. And a slot here. And I can add more people here. I'm going to go for standing army once again. Away, I should have added everyone else. To the council. Who else joins the council? Or the Nobutada, why not? What about here? Hmm. I guess I can go for strength of years. I also have all of this though now. Increases harvest. Provisions. Loyalty. I don't want any of those though. I should also consider buying some treasures. Combine the saddle cutter? There we go. Alright, 
Because now I can give those treasures to those that, whose loyalty are kind of lower. In fact, that might be a good idea, in general. There we go. Senorikyu. Gets that Shidatekari. Bodo Takatora. Gets the Saddle Cut. There we go, and they also get stronger from this. Alright. Anything else? Standing army, I don't have any officers that can do it. You need to be... you need to have the ranking of a captain at least. Of a captain at least to be able to be used for the policies. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, I'll consent to that. Let's see, here say something's happening in the Shimazu clan. Yeah, we saw this last. We saw this last stream, and uh, we're going. All these events that we're seeing right now with the Shimazu will repeat next stream anyway. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna consider them right now, because we're gonna have to read them all over again. Because the Shimazu are being early in what they're doing. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Can work on our economy over there. Our farms. These ones are being worked on automatically, so there's not much of a need for me to interrupt it. Instead, I'll go for more money. There we go. Employee. Ooh. Well, not that I need that. Stow the minion. What, what needs a dominion? Ah, I see. All right. You're an attendant. Oda Nagamasu, you are family. Let's see. Mashita Nagamori. Oh, is he not duty though? Never mind. Disaster readiness. Any time to swim tomorrow? No, no. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, Chinese homework. <laughs> and other things that I wanna do. I, I'd like to see if tomorrow I can record that video, uh, that video about, you know, the, the 10k milestone, for example. Because we, we've reached the 10k milestone recently. Um, a, I'm a bit unprepared for it, but I'd like to at least, like, record, like, a video talking about it. Right? Obviously, obviously expressing my gratitude. Because, fuck. This is a... Uh, we've come a long way, huh? Feels kind of surreal. Like, 10k might not seem that much by... if you compare it to maybe other channels, but... I don't know, man. It feels... It's a lot of people. It's a lot, a lot of people. So that's why it feels so surreal. But yeah, I want to make a video talk about the 10k milestone, expressing gratitude, and also using like an opportunity to also like um, talking about future plans and things like that. And uh, you know what? As always, let's call this a uh, stream privilege. Let's call this stream privilege for the people that are here. Uh, I I think for like a special event for the 10k milestone, I think I'd like to do a Q&A. You know, I think I want to do a Q&A where um, I want people to like leave whatever questions they might have in the comment section of that video. And I will I will try and pick as many of those questions to um, for the Q&A. So so basically w when I make that video, which hopefully, hopefully I will record it tomorrow, um, people will leave the questions in that comment section. And basically the time limit is, uh, well, Whenever I find a time to make the follow-up to that video, right? The Q&A. Which probably is more than a week. Definitely more than a week. Depending on uh, on circumstances. So you guys have, have, um, have time. But yeah, you can ask anything as long as it's not like inappropriate, rude or too private. But I trust you guys, so I don't think I have to worry about that. Probably don't have to worry about that. All 
Alright. Let's see. I've ne I've never done like a, a Q and A, and I thought, well, I remember I remember I always liked watching Q and As of content creators that I watched. Why not do something like like that myself? You know, and it's something I never done. May as well be a way to celebrate this special moment, since I'm kind of unprepared to do anything else. You post that on the community tab on Twitter. I will once I make the video. Once I make the video. I will, I will be talking I will be talking about that on the community tab and uh, and Twitter as well but it's gonna be f in the video that I'm gonna be discussing uh, so right now I'm not talking about it because first the video needs to come first the video of where I talk about you know the 10k milestone you know plans for the future and that's that's also where I announce the Q a you you guys just know of, of my of my intents like earlier because you know stream privilege. <laughs> Here we go. I trust you guys. Swimmer's last words. I mean, maybe this might be a pitfall, but it's it's not like I have anything to complain about, you know. Maybe maybe it's because. Um, we are still like a small community, or maybe it's because I just got lucky, but I really don't have anything. I don't really have complaints about, like, about you guys. I don't have complaints, really. Because you guys have been great. Like, you guys have been polite. You guys have been nice. You guys know where the boundaries lie. Um, just in general, you guys have been supportive. I don't really have complaints. At all. Post about your, your questions on community tab on Twitter. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll also do that. I think I'll also like allow people to post their questions in the in those places as well. But we are in small communities within Discord server. Mm -hmm. Are you sure about that? I'm a pretty negative person for you the time. I mean, I don't know about that. I think there is a difference between you talking about things that you don't like in a in a rational manner and excessive negativity right obviously if, if you start like going you know going hard popping off on like a, a vtuber or, or, or such like to the point where it's just pure toxicity i'm not gonna allow that right because that goes against the excessive negativity rules of the server but if you just are like expressing that mm, i don't like this vtuber because of this this and that that's fine i think i think criticism is fine i, I don't consider criticism like a bad thing you know? Like, n not everyone is going to enjoy everyone, right? Sometimes there's just maybe a content creator you might not enjoy, and that's fine. You know? That's completely fine. Uh, by the way, you said you're gonna add about your Discord server next video? I will. I definitely will. Make an active attempt not to go over the top as much as I want to sometimes. See? And that's really all I can ask. I'm completely fine with people, you know, you know, expressing their opinions, you know, cr expressing their criticism, as long as they do it in a rational, mature manner. As long as they do that, I have no complaints. And, uh, you know, that's why I don't really have many complaints about you. I mean, I don't have any complaints about you, really. Like, what else? What do I have to complain about? Not really, I can't think of it. I really don't. Oh, alright. This is big. This is big, this is big. There we go. So I have a lot of trust. That's it. <laughs> let's let's see this. This is very important. Maybe this is me being parasocial myself. <laughs> コライより真意を背景に豪壮を繰り返し権益を拡大総平らの武力と全国の荘園を合わせ持つ中世最大級の検問だったその検問が信長に背いた浅井朝倉の都と手を組んだのだから許せるはずもない 
将軍の庇護者たる信長に立てつくことは幕府への反逆に等しい武士の秩序に従おうとしない彼らは信長が描く天下の設計図には不要な存在だっただが諸国から警護される寺を焼けば非難の声は信長に殺到する家臣たちは主君の亡霊をいさめたかつて同様に根本中に火をかけた将軍足利義盛関連の佐藤も日合の死を遂げた仏鉢は避けられないと仏鉢は避けられないとだが神仏を恐れぬ信長は聞く耳を持たない I mean, I, maybe I should say, Shia Shia. I mean, 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 I should say, Shia Shia. 誕生の伽藍はグレンに包まれ逃げ惑う相続も包囲兵に撃たれた阿炎教官の地獄絵図も信長にとっては中世という異物への決別に過ぎなかった皮肉にもこの行為により光秀は信長家臣で最初に白餅となり焼け跡の坂本に城を築くことを許される War crime? War crimes or war crimes?Both.Both. Both. So let me give you guys some、um, context on that.So, as you know, Nobunaga is supposed to be fighting lots and lots of uprisings, right?The the Buddhist warrior monks of, Hoshi, of Ishiyama Honganji, you know, rile. But you know, rallies the people to revolt against Nobunaga. And, and throughout this entire period, the reason why Nobunaga isn't expanding much is because he's way too busy putting down rebellions all over the place. Now, Enriyakuji is a temple close,、uh, close to the capital in Kyoto.、Um, Enriyakuji, the temple, is, is up top Mount Hie, right? And that temple and that is, is, is like, okay, that mountain is a very important mountain. Like a sacred mountain for the emperor, right?、Uh, now, historically, the monks of Enriyakuji have always been the type. Okay, yeah, this is real loud. <laughs> Let me just. <laughs> I can't hear myself talk, goddamn. <laughs> Alright, so the. The monks of Enriyakuji, they are the types to get、uh, kind of involved into like politics and all that. You know, sometimes if they're like unhappy, they just go into Kyoto and start making trouble. You know, with, with a bunch of armed militant Buddhist monks. So, yeah. So, Nobunaga is really getting pissed off with all these monks. He's just causing trouble everywhere, you know? So, he decides. By the way, this entire time, he's already like sieging Ishiyama Honganji. But he decides, I'm just gonna burn down Mount Hie. You know, he orders his troops. He orders his troops to surround Mount Hie next to, in, you know, near Kyoto. And, um,. And he basically orders his soldiers to, you know, set fire on the mountain.、And、anyone that, come, that tries to run away dies. Doesn't matter. Wom- woman, children, child.、Uh, I mean, yeah. Woman, ch- children, men, Buddhist, monk. Doesn't matter. They're there, they die. And there's a reason for it. It's because the Buddhist monks of Enriyakuji were hiding enemies of Nobunaga. They were hiding. Asakura, Asakura and Azai members, right? And、uh, to be fair, Nobunaga asked them first. Nobunaga asked the monks of Inryakuji to please stop hiding his enemies. And then he did it again. And then he did it again. And like, even though Nobunaga told them many times, you know, to please stop hiding his enemies, eventually he got pissed and just threatened them. If you don't do it, If you, if you don't stop, you know, hiding his enemies, he's going to attack. And then they, they didn't listen. So then he decided to burn them all down. So technically, Nobunaga gave them like a bunch of warnings, like a bunch of them. He was 
honestly surprisingly patient. That's not like... Nobunaga is not the type to be this patient, so he's, he was really, really patient. So this time, you know, the patients were, not, were off, and he decided to burn down the entire mountain. Everyone died, 20,000 people died that night. Now, as you can imagine, burning down a sacred mountain to the emperor did not go well with the rest of Japan. And this is why Nobunaga is about to get in trouble for his actions. Yeah. <laughs> Believe the Buddha sounds like a fantastic way to unwind. <laughs> yeah. Following the raising of Mount Hie, Oda Nobunaga gave the distinguished Akechi, Akechi Mitsuhide permission to build a castle in Sakamoto in Mount Hie's base. Goddamn destroy, burns down the mountain, gives it to the, to the guy that did it. <laughs> Sakamoto was once a key point between the capital and the eastern Japan. We are to build a castle befitting its importance. Oh, oh, you're right, right, I forgot, I forgot. So, it was this event, the burning of Mount Hiei, where the nickname Demon King of the Sixth Heaven be originated. It was from here that, that Nobunaga started being called the Demon King of the Sixth Heaven. It's from here. He, is, he, be, he becomes seen as a demon king. It's not a war crime if the only thing that is left is ashes. <laughs> he knows it's gonna backfire on him, that's why I was so patient. Yeah, exactly. He knew, like, Mount Hie is just an important mountain culturally to, uh, to the Emperor and to Japan. He really didn't want to destroy it, but then, there you go. Destroys them all. Go, rookie numbers. <laughs> Not say what I said very bad? Wait, what did I say? Wait, is, is Bully the Buddhist an actual thing? Wait, is, is, is it actual, an actual thing? Hey, disclaimer, I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I have no idea that was an actual thing. <laughs> Don't bully Buddhist, please. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh boy, one day. When, when I finally get my antis, guys. They will be coming here, they will be, will be going to pass streams. And they will start, you know, oh, see, he saw that, he, he said this, and they will clip this outside of context. Well, it's gonna happen to everyone at some point, once you start growing. Let's see, hold on, I have the Yomi on the server, let me see. Oh! Oh, that's what you mean, it's not the Buddhists, it's... Oh. Oh. Alright. I get it. Alright. I see. Let's uh, let's pretend we didn't say anything. I see, I see. Private to stream quick night. Honestly honestly it's fine. Nobody's really gonna actually have a problem with this. Like like uh pe it, it's kinda like the kind of thing that you really have to stretch it to have a problem with. Only Twitter would really have a problem with. Like, nobody else would. Eh, because, like, anyone would, like, uh... Probably nobody but us will even realize it, probably. Like, I, no one is really going to have a problem with it. Because it's like, number one, context is, like, harmless. Number two, you really have to think about it. Because, goddamn, I had to think about it. <laughs> but, yeah. Regardless. Let us continue. <laughs> Sakamoto was once a key point between the capital and Eastern Japan. We are to build a castle befitting its importance. History is fun. I do like history a lot. I'm, I'm a history nerd after all. You mean X videos? Wait, hmm? X videos? Wait, where? <laughs> Facing late Lake Biwako, Sumo Sakamoto Castle was equipped with an ex extra extravagant power and could be accessed by boats directly from the lake. I hear that Lord Oda Nobunaga has entrusted Lord Mitsuhide with Sakamoto Castle. Given a castle? When exactly did Mitsuhide become one of Nobunaga's people? He was a subordinate of mine when I last checked. It appears that Lord Mitsuhide is a retainer to the, Ho to the Oda now, for all intents and purposes. I'm not amused. Yeah, Mitsuhide is our retainer now. Chikanosuke. Oh, there we go. Finally, he reappears. 
There was once a clan known as the Amago, who ruled over Chugoku, until they eventually met their end at the hands of Mori Motonari. Oh, I see. Uh, because Twitter is called X now. I still call it Twitter. I'm not going to call it X. I just can't. Like, Twitter is easier. It's too ingrained in my mind now. Too late. However, one man had once had made it his life's endeavor to revive the fallen. X Twitter. Ah, <laughs> Clever, clever. Revive... Uh, made its life's endeavor to revive the fallen Amago clan. His name was Yamanaka Shikanosuke Yukimori. Shikanosuke backed Katsuhisa, a descendant of the Amago. He tried countless times to retake Izumo, but could not overcome Kikawa Motoharu's defenses. Eventually, he decided to step back and go into hiding. Then suddenly he reappeared, this time to seek the aid of the great daimyo Oda Nobunaga. Oda Nobunaga's castle. So, you're Yam Yamanaka Shikanosuke. I've heard stories of your unsurpassed heroism in Chugoku. Quite impressive, I must say. I've forgotten Nobunaga's voice is a bit deeper. Your words are too kind. So, what does this hero want with me? Have you come to pledge your service? If it would lead to my long-desired revival of the Yamago clan, I would do anything. Therefore, I pledge to serve you. The Yamago. Hmm. That is what you desire? The former Amago clan was destroyed by the Mori. I have tried on many occasions to, occasions to reclaim Izumo, only to be repelled by the Mori each time. The only, the only clan powerful enough to conquer the Mori is the Oda. This is why I have decided to swallow my shame and come before you. Still gonna call it Twitter though? Exactly. I, I think I, it's easier to call it Twitter. It's been way too 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 long, you know? Way too many years. Ah, the Mori. I figured I'd need to deal with them eventually, but don't go thinking that battle will be for the Amago. X for Xbox. Mm -hmm. Use the person from the Doom introductions voice. I haven't seen those introductions yet. Understood. Still. I am curious about you. About you. I accept your pledge of service. Your deeds may inspire me to consider this Amago case of yours. Nobunaga's voice is much harder to, to do in English. In Japanese it's so much easier to do. Yokaro Yurusu. It's much much easier in Japanese. Nobunaga no Yabo, Shinsei! I'm ever so grateful. I will work, work tirelessly to make myself of use to you, Lord Oda. If you end up capturing my, the castle for me, I might put it into the care of that Amago Katsuhisa you like so well. Let that be encouragement for you. I think it's because it's not just his voice, it's his, his way of speaking. Yes, my lord. De Aruka. Now, with a slower but shorter route to restoring the Amago clan, Yamanaka Shikanosuke devoted himself to serving the Oda. Oh, another event, holy shit, so many. Amago clan restored. The Oda clan had conquered Kozuki Castle in Harima. Now Nobunaga had claimed his chief retainers together, had called his chief retainers together to discuss who should be given worship of the castle. Wait, really? I don't see anything happening, what the hell? Kozuki should be given to the Amago? For what reason? Kozuki Castle is strategically positioned between Harima and Bizen and Mimasaka. There isn't a single person in all Chugoku region who doesn't know its name. It wouldn't be a bad choice to have Lord Chikanosuke take over. <laughs> Speak honestly, Mitsuhide. Installing an outsider like Chikanosuke in the front lines will prevent our own troops from suffering losses, correct? That is a rather blunt way to put it, but I do not deny that is also true. Then it's decided. Kozuki Castle will be given to Shikanosuke. Will not forget this favor. It would bring about his long desired revival of the Amago. Hmm. But this is only the beginning of his trials. He'll have to fight against those vile Mori. Thus, Lord and Vassal Amago Katsuhisa and Yamanaka Shikanosuke took Kozuki Castle. The Amago clan had finally been restored. I'm grateful to, to Lord Oda for his kindness. However, 
This castle stands directly in front of the enemy. We must be prepared to defend ourselves. But that also, but that, but that enemy is none other than yeah. Blah, 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 blah. But that enemy is none other than the Mori. This is a prime location for us to take our revenge. The tale of the Amago clan revival did not end with the bestowal of Kozuki Castle upon Katsuhisa and Shikanosuke. They would still have to fight a harrowing battle against their sworn enemy, the Mori. Let me see, wait, we didn't conquer Kozuki, what the hell? And Ryakuji is adopted by the, Ed, what, the Oda clan? Oda, Oda clan occupies Sakamoto Castle. Kutsukidani Castle's name changes to Sakamoto Castle. Yamanaka Shikanosuke becomes affiliated with the Oda clan. Amago Katsuhisa becomes affiliate, affiliated with the Oda clan. Oda clan occupies Kozuki Castle. Amago clan. Daimyo Amago Katsuhisa is formed. Amago clan becomes a vassal of the Oda clan. Kato Masasada becomes affiliated with the Amago clan. And Kamae Kare Korenori becomes affiliated with the Amago clan. There we go. Ah, right here. Kozuki. Nice, nice, nice. The Mori are still away though, but the Mori are starting to attack these places now. Mori are over here. Alright. We have more hearsay. Oh, stuff is happening in the Mori. Speaking of them. Shikanosuke bites this time. Ah, I see. After Am the Amago clan's annihilation, Yamanaka Shikanosuke single-mindedly wandered the land trying to devise a plan to see their return to power. One day, he was hit with a beam of hope. Ah, wait, okay, so this cutscene happens before the cutscenes we just read. But because the other cutscenes that we just read are directly tied with us, that's why the game automatically played them, even though this cutscene plays first, actually. The Amago had purged the subordinate, sh subordinate Shingo Corp, because they had become a threat, with their power potentially rivaling that of the parent clan. The par par parent clan. But during his travels, Shikanosuke found one survivor residing in the capital. Katsuhisa, the child of the now deceased Amago Sanehisa, had fled to the capital during the destruction of the Shingo Corps. He was now living as a priest in Tofuchi. You, you are just what is needed to revive the Amago. Please, you must allow me to be of service. So your name is Shikanosuke? Your passion has inspired me. While well, I cannot provide your strength if you desire it, I will join your cause. Having found a blood relative to represent the clan, the scattered survivors of the Amago, clan Amago gradually returned to join Katsuhisa and Shikanosuke. This is our opportunity! All of you who so desire to see the return of the Yamago, we shall strike at Tamori and take back Gasan Toda in Izumo! Shikanosuke and, Shikanosuke and Katsuhisa recruited soldiers in Okinoshima, Okinoshima for their renewed army. Once they arrived in Izumo, their forces were able to spread rapidly, and they proceeded to, take, to successfully topple castle after castle. Survivors of the Yamago, what a stubborn lot! If they dare come here, I'll take them down. So that's Kikawa Motoharu, the second son of M Mori Motonari. The one who destroyed the former Amago clan and drove them away from Gasantoda. A worthy opponent indeed. You say you work with the old Amago clan? Yamanaka Shikanosuke, is it? was it? How intriguing. Let's get him. They fight with passion, but they're laughably entrained. We've no need to give it our all. Yamanaka Shikanosuke and his forces put up a good fight, but they were no match for the Mori's polished tactics. Instead of reclaiming Izumo, he was captured. But eventually, he managed to escape his imprisonment. Take that! You thought I would give up that easily? I'll be back for you, just wait and see! Hey, where are you? Come back here! Damn it! Let him go, he can return to fight all he wants. The outcome will remain the same. Just won't give up, will he? It is a shame, though. Is there no chance that we will join the Mori? None, I'd wager. The man thinks of nothing but the revival of the Amago. Shikanosuke, Shikanosuke successfully fled the Mori territory and regrouped with Katsuhisa. He would continue, with undying persistence, to devote his life to the fight against the Mori. Goddamn, man. He's like the V-Tweeters on Twitter. 
trying to uh, <laughs> trying to cancel Mori Calliope. <laughs> Damn man, he just can't cancel the Mori, am I right? <laughs> the missing Yamana Kashkanosuke returns to Nijo Palace. The missing Yamago Katsuhisa returns to Nijo Palace. But that's before everything we just saw. No, that that note did not sound good at all. Holy shit! Oh, I, right, I got Sakamoto. Wait, is Mitsuhide here? Yeah, he is. Mitsuhide is in, is in here. See, this territory belonged to the Ashikaga, but now belongs to us. Let's see, I am gonna bring to his castle the people are supposed to be like his family and friends and others. So, for example, Saito Toshimitsu. Saito Toshimitsu. Where is Akechi Hidemitsu? I don't see him. He is not here. Alright, fine, fine. That's alright. Inaba Sadamichi. Maeda Keiji Saizo Kani Maeda Keiji Hmm Why no? Yeah Alright, and now I'll bring as a substitute to my territory Some new people Let's see Kanematsu Masayoshi Yamauchi Kazu... Yasutoyo, never mind. That's not Kazutoyo. Kozukuri Kazutoyo. Let's see. Eh, why not? Kabuto Sadahide. Let's see, who else? Who else? Ichihashi Nagakazu. Nice. Alright. Issue policy. I do have a lot of money. I can actually issue a lot of policies. Uh, this one is expensive. I think I'm gonna go for irrigation maintenance. More crops. Also, a less likelihood of uh, getting my territory destroyed by natural disasters. Easy commerce is good too. Yokaru. Bodyguard formation. Standing army. Alright, that's good. That's what I'll do for now. How much is left in the game anyways? So we are in the year 1571. The events of this game go beyond 1614, right? So basically, there's still a long, 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 you know, you know, period of history to go. Like right now, we're in 1572. We're, gonna, we're seeing like Nobunaga really, really starting to take over Japan, right? You know, the first unifier of Japan actually taking over stuff and becoming like a big power. It's gonna last 11 more years until 1582. That's when Nobunaga dies. He gets betrayed by Akechi Mitsuhide. Um, this guy right here. Uh, this guy right here. He gets betrayed by Akechi Mitsuhide in the temple of Honnoji. He dies. Um, and then his territory gets divided between his vassals. Uh, the Akechi take over a, a portion of the territory in central, in central Japan. The, the Hashiba under Hashiba Hideyoshi will be the ones that will fight the Akechi to, to avenge Nobunaga. But then you also have the Shibata who will control, uh, led by Shibata Katsuie, who is this guy right here, who will control this portion of Nobunaga's territory. And obviously we have Nobunaga's, you know, oldest surviving son, Oda Nobukatsu, who will take over, like, the territory here in Owari, Mino, Ise, Toba. Because his eldest son, right here, Nobutada, will also die in Honoji. So it will be Nobunaga's second son that will take over the, the clan. But Nobukatsu is not any anywhere near as competent as Nobutada is or Nobunaga is. So every single, you know, surviving 
you know, heir of Nobunaga, whether it's Nobutoki, Nobukatsu, or other Nobus that I don't remember their names right now, they will all, you know, be kind of manipulated by a different, like, senior vassal of the Oda clan. And eventually it will culminate with uh, Hideyoshi. Where is he? I don't have him here. I, was it, wasn't he somewhere? I think Hideyoshi was in Nagoya. Let me check. Uh, yeah, right here. This guy right here. Info. Officer Info. This guy. Kinoshita Hideyoshi. He's gonna change his name to Kinoshita uh, Hashiba Hideyoshi. And eventually Toyotomi Hideyoshi, how he's more renowned. This guy is the second unifier of Japan. He will be the one to finish what Nobunaga begins. After Nobunaga dies, he will avenge Nobunaga. He will fight Mitsuhide's armies. He will win at the Battle of, um, of uh, Yamazaki. After that, he will start fighting against Shibata Katsuie to be, to basically, who has the right to continue and be Nobunaga's successor, right? He will win against uh, Shibata Katsuie at the Battle of Shizugatake. And then he will fight against Tokugawa Ieyasu right here because Ieyasu, uh, what is he? Ieyasu. Ieyasu supports a different son of, of uh, he supports Nobukatsu. And they're gonna fight in the battles of Komaki Nagate. Nagate. Spoilers, I mean, I guess, you know, it's, it's very different to, to talk about because like, it, it's weird, right? Because it's like real life history, right? This only happened 500 years ago. Some people might still need to catch up. <laughs> I know, right? It's fine. It's still... It's still... Most likely, you guys will forget anyways. Because it's way too many details. <laughs> uh, and, I, and I'm being brief, by the way. I'm being brief. I'm, I'm skipping a lot of details. A, this period of history had so much stuff going for it. And yeah, and that's... Uh, you know, no, Hideyoshi will start taking over Japan. And then he invades Korea. And he fails and dies. And uh, then Japan breaks again, and then he he he, he also finishes what what uh, what all the other two st began. It's an interesting story. I know my question for you. Oh, ho -ho. interesting, interesting. Hold on to it then. All right, let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But yeah, you know, learning Chinese has been a lot of fun. Again, I like learning languages in general, right? So I'm having fun learning languages in general. Learning Chinese is being very interesting. I really need to get used to Pinyin. That one is gonna be difficult. But I think it's gonna be easier to get used to Pinyin once I learn the words themselves. As soon as I learn the words themselves, it becomes easier. Because I remember, I used to also have trouble with Japanese, right? But then you start learning Japanese works and the, the conventions as you learn it. It becomes easy. You know, I think the opinion is the same. There you go, irrigation mages. I will never try to learn Chinese. Mandarin is hellish to listen. Hmm. You need to pay attention to listen. True. That's true. That's true. That's true. It's a lot of fun, though. See, I, I can now say I am Portuguese in Chinese, guys. I can say, yeah. Uh, uh, let me see if I don't screw this up. Uh, 我是葡萄牙? Uh, wait. 我是葡萄牙人? Yeah, that's how you say it in Portuguese. Uh, am I correct? Let's see. Something funny I've learned. The racist imitations of Asian languages, they're actually not that far from the truth. I know. If you look at a lot of Japanese words, they are literally just Japanese ver Japanese versions of like English. Like if you want to know how to pronounce a lot of country names, Amer America, you know, Philippine, Indo, Indonesia, you know, things like that. Ice cream. Like ten percent of Japanese vocabulary is English. You you write it with katakana in a uh, in their um, in the in the katakana alphabet. So, so it's the Japanese that the letter O and U at the end of English words. You also need to make it more syllabic, right? Because the Japanese the works in syllables, right? For example, English doesn't work, right? You need you need to make it more syllabic to fit like the Japanese lang language. So ingurishu, right? Ingurishu. 
because that's how the Japanese language works. They they can't just say English. They that's a lot of sounds that they don't have in the, in their in their language. So no, it's not really racist. It's literally how they talk because that's how their language works. Whoever says it's racist, it's probably someone on Twitter who doesn't know anything about Japan. Probably hasn't tried learning Japanese. Let's see. There we go. The letter L is truly the bane of Japanese everywhere. Yeah, in Japanese you, you replace the letter L with a, an R. That's how they do it. That's actually how we're taught even right now. You just replace that. That forget the elf doesn't exist. Just say just say R. Let's see. Can't judge them for not being able to use the letter. I can't roll my R's. Mm hmm. There we go. Nice. Oh wait, no. You mean the crops, 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 crops. Nice. That's something I was gonna say, but I forgot. Westward strategy. Ah, here we go. Things are about to get tough, guys. Kenyo, high priest of the Honganji, rebelled against Oda Nobunaga and commanded every monk, commanded every monk in the land to rise up and strike the warlord down. When learning history in elementary school, I always wondered why Portuguese is called Grape Didi. I learned that yesterday. That apparently, Putaoya is, uh, you know, means grape tea, which is the way that they have for Portugal in, in Chinese. Interesting, because Putao is, is grape. Putao. Putao? Yeah, Putao. Yeah, that's how I say it. Yeah, I'm still getting used to the opinion. Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know about the teeth, but I do know about the grapes, maybe, because, you know, we produce wine in Portugal, and Portuguese wine is really high quality. You know, what we call Vinho do Porto, you know, Porto wine. So it might might come from there, because we do, we, we do have our own, like, uh, we do have our, our own wines. It's a it's a big part of our culture, in, pa in fact. As for the teeth, I have no idea what it would be. Maybe maybe we we drink a lot of wine, so that's why like we have grape teeth because our teeth taste like wine. Maybe. Her Mika's honey is an especially good Portuguese wine. Hmm. I, I I'm gonna be honest. I don't know much about uh, the brands because I don't drink wine because I just don't drink alcohol in general, right? So I don't know much about the brands. Oh, Mika's honey. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, I, I saw Pomu. Pomu fall for that one. Yeah. Yeah, you should, you should, you shouldn't, you should, uh, you shouldn't say the S there. You should have removed the S there. I would have fall, fallen for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I saw Pomu fall for that one. Oh, I see. Because I said Mike instead of Mike's. Gotcha. That also. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, anyways, high priest, the high priest of Honganji had traditionally taken wives since the day of the sect's founder, Shinra. Yeah, I mean it's not just the high priest of Honganji. Like the priests in general, a lot of them just took wives in general. Like, you know, you're a Buddhist monk, celibacy. Nah, have a have a child. You're fine. I'm gonna make a point to get more people with it <laughs> once people forget about the clip. <laughs> Kenyo was no exception, marrying Nyoshuni, the daughter of the left minister Sanjo Kinyori, at 14 years of age. Nyoshuni's elder sister was Lady Sanjo, who was married to Takeda Shingen, making Kenyo and Shingen brothers in law. Kenyo wrote to Shingen many times, requesting his aid in encircling Nobunaga. Is it just me or the sound is gone? Wait, what? Is it gone? Is it? Is it? 
Hopefully not. Hmm. What's going on? Can you guys hear me? Uh oh. No response. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see something here. Hmm. The stream tells me that the connection is excellent, though. Let me see. Is something unplugged? No, no, no. Everything seems to be fine. Yeah, I think the sound is not is not off. The stream's doomed. Wait, really? Is it? Wait. Sound is okay. But you guys can hear, right? Seems better now. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Maybe it could have been a, a, a hiccup on the internet. Happens every once in a while. All right. Good thing I didn't say anything else. All right. So Kenyo wants to ask Shingen to attack me from behind. Because his wife is the sister of Shingen's wife. As I don't remember. Yeah, music disappears when I out top. Yeah, that, that I know. I know, I know. Our clan has not deemed it prudent to move openly against the other clan as of yet. However, it is true that Kenyo proved a, proved a steadfast ally to the Holy Rebellion in the battle with the Wesley, so we cannot afford to refuse him out of hand. Despite clashes with Nobunaga's allies in the Tokugawa clan, the Takeda had so far kept peace with Yoda. Yet this brazen manipulation of Shogun Yoshiaki and his torching of Mount Hiei cannot be condoned. And besides, I have crossed this threshold of 50. I am ever to carve... If I am ever to carve my name into history, this is my final chance. Something must be done, and I shall do it! I hereby sever all ties with the Oda clan! We march for the capital to rid the world of Oda Nobunaga! There we go, the Takeda War theme! Let me increase the audio. Resolved to march on Kyoto, Shingen called a council of his, mo of his most loyal retainers. This day, we make for the capital. I'm calling a war council. Genshiro! My lord! Your red cavalry shall ride ahead for Mikawa and Ieyasu. Give him a show of, our, of your might and regroup with the main force. It will be done, my lord. Ieyasu shall learn that the red cavalry are not to be trifled with. Torashige, you shall make for Mino. Lay siege to Iwamura and hold Nobunaga in place. Understood. You mean to hobble Nobunaga, forcing him to send the Tokugawa against us alone? I shall be honored to play my part. Baba, you will follow the main contingent, toppling the Tokugawa fortresses as you go. I understand. I understand. The rest of you are with me. We will trample the lands of the Tokugawa and the Oda underfoot as we make for the capital. Stream die? No, not in this cool moment. Oh well, the twist is gonna be in the VOD. And now, my friends, let us swear an oath to our cause. Our banner serves as no shield could. Our banner serves as no shield could. Furin Kazan! Scatter all who stand against us. Show the upstart brats of the Oari and Mikawa how true men wage war. The news that Shingen marched for Kyoto sent shockwaves across the land and struck fear into it, even Nobunaga's heart. The addition of his greatest foe yet to the, to the forces conspiring against him marked the coming of a storm. The tempest would engulf not only the Oda and the Takeda, but all will fight for glory and the heaven. Wait, let me see, maybe... maybe... No, everything is connected fine in my end, though. I think it might be YouTube itself, because both YouTube, both and my router and my internet itself says that everything is fine, so it must be a YouTube thing, most likely. This tempest will engulf not only the Oda and the Takeda, but all will fight for glory and their heaven. Breakdown with Shingen Oda Nobunaga's raising of Mount Hiei shocked the nation. Unsurprisingly, a great many spoke up and condemned his actions. 
Of the complaints, the criticism that most enraged Nobunaga came from a certain daimyo whose faith was considered questionable at best. I hear you have some drivel delivered from Sh Takeda Shingen. <laughs> you Shingen, that sanctimonious bastard. What manner of monk spends his days worrying? The cheek of him to think his opinions worth sharing. Look. <laughs> if I may, your recent behavior shows a despicable lack of respect for the gods and Buddha. I cannot abide your transformation into some demon king. I shall come to the capital and have your head. I suppose this means he seeks to sever ties with us then? This is an actual letter Shingen sent to Nobunaga, by the way. Until then, the Oda clan had been on good terms with the Takeda clan, with neither having ever been outwardly hostile to the other. The aggression of this message, however, de seemed to disregard that past civility and declared the clan's enemies moving forward. <laughs> I doubt that bastard Shingen is serious about making enemies of us. He's a holy man. I expect he just wanted to air his grievances about Hiei. Speaking of that incident, I hear that the head priest of the Tendai sect, Kakujo Hoshino, has been under the protection of Shingen in Kai ever since he fled Mount Hiei and as it burned. He must be getting cocky because Hoshino pulled some strings and got the Imperial Court to give him a higher ranking priest position. Look at the letter's signature. <laughs> and here, I believe, Head Priest of Tendai and Shingen Shamon. So then, <laughs> that bastard <laughs> thinking himself the mouthpiece of all Tendai just because he's looking after his... after its head priest. Will we be responding to this message? <laughs> if he is to boast of Buddhist protection, then I shall become the demon to hinder his sp spiritual enlightenment. There we go. Perhaps the demon king of the sixth heaven. There we go. The, the nickname. There we go. The demon king of Nobunaga. Demon king of the sixth heaven. An ironic title, is it not? Because he hoped to obstruct Shingen's Buddhist practices? It is. But it may not be long before I have to deal with that Shingen once and for all. The title of Demon King of the Sixth Heaven, which is used even now to describe Nobunaga, is believed to have been a sarcastic title coined by the man himself in his response to Shingen. Reading between the lines of these sarcastic messages, however, reveal the growing tension in the relationship of the Oda clan and the Takeda clan. And so Oda Nobunaga and Takeda Shingen, two powerful figures of the time, came to realize that the day of their decisive battle was on the horizon. Here we go. Oh, another cutscene. That's not supposed to happen right now. I'm gonna skip. This only happens like five years from now. There we go. Takeda clan occupies Iwamura castle. Takeda clan and other clans alliance, marriage, alliance and vassalage are terminated. One more year, everyone. Oda Nobutaka. Nobu Nobutaka. Right, that's the third son of Nobunaga. So, yeah, Oda Nobu Nobutada, Oda Nobukatsu, Oda Nobutaka, and then Nobutada's son, Nobutoki. Gotcha. There we go, that's Nobukatsu. That's the second son. He sucks. Hanamori Yoshishige. Hachisuka Yemasa is a good one. Look at that. Mori Nagayoshi. Nice. Rapid Assault, Fearsome Momentum, Castle Raid, Offensive. Yep. It's super aggressive. He dies at Komaki Nagakte, together with Ikeda Tsuneoki. Kompeito! Portuguese origin, by the way. Yeah, they took Iwamura, but we'll take it back one day. We don't have to do anything. There's gonna be an event where we take it. Ozoi Ine. Oh, 
Matsunaga? Hmm. So perhaps... We're fine. We're very strong ourselves. Look! Look how many troops I have in Gifu. 21,000. We are absolutely fine. Oh. That is a shame. What's going on here? That's not supposed to happen yet. That's not supposed to happen yet. Oh, what the hell? That's not supposed to... See, this... Ah, I hate this so much, man. Like... I don't know why. I don't know why the game really tries to force the Battle of Tedorigawa to happen now. It's not supposed to happen. It only happens five years from now. We have yet to conquer Echizen and Kaga before that can happen. It's really annoying. So I'm gonna be skipping because it affects things here, right? Now we lost this. We're not supposed to lose this yet, right? We're not. But all that happens because the goddamn Wesugi conquer Nanao Castle way early than they should. Because the trigger is conquer the conquest of Nanao Castle. God damn it. Maybe what I should do is go into edit mode next time and make the, the clan in here, the, the Hatakayama clan be so overpowered that the Kenshin will never want to attack him. Because we lost territory that we shouldn't lose in this period of history, of time. Whatever. Cutscene... Okay, there we go. Okay, no, this is not supposed to happen now either. I hate that. It, it triggers so many events that are not supposed to happen. Now he's going to die. That's not supposed to happen. Stop! All these events I'm skipping is stuff that's not supposed to happen yet. Reload or something? Nah, it, it it's it's impossible. You want to know why? Because the Wesugi, the Wesugi clan is really aggressive, and they love conquer, conquering Nanao Castle. Because at some point they do take Nanao Castle, and it's the tr it's conquering Nanao Castle that triggers the the events to happen. But for some reason, the game really likes to force the Battle of Tedorigawa happening in the year 1572, even though the battle happens in 1577. I don't understand. And the reason why I hate that is because that event, the Battle of Tedorigawa, triggers so many other events going on. Like this. Now we don't have this anymore. We don't have this anymore. We don't even... We don't have this anymore. Because of stuff that happened. Right? For example this. We have Shigisan here. We're not supposed to have Shigisan yet. The guy that's supposed to have Shigisan Matsunaga is dead, and that ends up screwing up stuff in the future. Now, fortunately, I'm only going to play until December, right? Because, uh, like I said, today's stream is only going to go until 1579, 1572 December, right? Because then next stream, I'm going to begin a new scenario. I'm going to begin a, a reload, a reset everything in a new scenario in 1572. Right? So it's fine. Like, we're at, we're at the end anyway, so it's not gonna be, you know, a big deal. But man, I really hate this. This is like the part of the game where history goes completely broken because of this event. Because of the Battle of Tedorigawa specifically. And there's no way to fix this, unfortunately. All I can do... And I, this is something I'm gonna do in the next stream. In the next stream, I'm gonna play. I am going to play as the Westugi. Uh, I'm going to play as the Wesugi, and I'm going to make sure Nanao Castle doesn't get conquered. Right? So there we go. Because uh, the AI of the Oda clan, they they generally do the same things normally. So I will I will be playing with a uh, with a Wesugi from 
from uh, 72, from the year 72 until the year 77. And then that's a new, uh, the beginning of a new scenario. And uh, 1577, that's the, the date where the Tedorigawa happens. And I'm gonna go back and play with the, the Oda again. That's the plan. The, the only reason why I didn't do it now is just because the Oda like to conquer things as well. That they're not supposed to conquer just yet. After the next stream, they can conquer all those things all they want. Now I suppose I should take that Chigisan anyways, huh? Matsunari Zemichi is over there still though. Sure, Gamu Yashide. Auto points. Yeah. Wait, sure we have. Oh, I see. So it's fine, we just have to go until December now. Ugh. For how much this game tries to railroad you into history, then there's things that completely derail its own railroad. I really hope they could like have a fix for a... Keeping in mind that they're making patches for this game. I really hope they could make a fix for Tedorigawa. It's something that I really do not like. Look how big Gifu is. Fortunately, nobody wants to attack us. Because we're big. Alright, let's give him an imported gift. There we go. Yamauchi has for you. Actually, I have a lot of treasures already, already, however, already. Here, take this. Matsunaga is a Michi. We don't have to worry about the Takeda. The Takeda don't want to attack us either. Because even though the, the Takeda want to attack us, they, they are very powerful clan. Look at that, how strong they are. Potentially bigger than us. Definitely bigger than us. But... They also have a lot of enemies. So if they attack us and it doesn't go well for them, they're gonna get themselves attacked in the back. The point is of yours, them, Nobutaza. Who is really befriending? I want to let this happen. And a Jinja. Castella, that's another Portuguese origin. Dessert. Ah, uh, forgot the rest. Just a few. We're in autumn now. Actually, no, this is summer. Yeah, we're in summer now. Why does it look like autumn? Just a little bit more, August. Oh, and he's setting out on his own. Umori Yoshinari. I guess there's no point in me micromanaging anything anymore. Because we're in the end. But damn, there was a lot of events. Even though it was just two years, well, kind of three years. A lot of it, we ended up going through a lot of events. Next stream will be four years, right? No, five years. And there's going to be a lot happening too. We might not be able to do everything in one stream next time, but that's fine. We can always split it up. Just can put it fine. Alright, I'm not gonna do anything else. Oh, there we go. We, we did it. That's it. December 1572. We're done.
There we go. Dawn of Revolution. There we go. Also, yes. Here's a, a snip. A snip of uh, what I've been doing. <laughs> Anyways. So that will be it. Let me go see what we're going to be doing next stream. Next stream. Next stream we will begin here, in the Battle of Mikata Gahara scenario. It's 1572, December, where we just left. We still have the territory that we should keep, right? We still have the vassalages as well, because we're not supposed to lose that. Right? Um, in this scenario, I'm going to play as the as the Westugi. I will play as the Westugi. I'm not going to conquer this. Because it's the conquering of this that causes the Battle of uh, Tedorigawa to happen. So I'm gonna play the Westugi specifically to make sure that he doesn't conquer this. Meanwhile, it means Nobunaga is gonna start conquering things, but a lot of the things that Nobunaga can conquer now, he should. Because look, the, the scenario afterwards is the Battle of Tedorigawa, and as you can see, Nobunaga gobbled up the Rokaku, he gobbled up Nagashima, he gobbled up the Azai, he gobbled up the the Asakura, right? And he gobbled up Kishiwada right here. So he's supposed to conquer things. So the AI is gonna do that naturally, by itself. Um, so it's, it's not as bad anymore, right? It's not as bad. Hell, they may even gobble this up, even though they shouldn't, but it's not as bad anymore, at least. In this scenario, we'll play as the Oda, and then we'll conquer. Then we'll conquer this territory. But yeah, that is the plan for next next stream. This is it. We'll play as the Westuki. I don't think the Westuki needs to expand anything else. So there's not much I need to do with them. Um, it's the Battle of Mitagahara next, though. The highlight of next stream will be the Takeda invading the Tokugawa because they want to make their way through the Tokaido road right all the way to the capital but yeah also let me just give you guys an update on the on the on the vtubers that I've added so far in the game hmm so last time when I showed you guys the vtubers that I added I showed you guys that I'd, I had added all Hololive VTuber. Right? I had added every single Hololive VTuber, right? So, I've been adding a lot more. So, since then... Which ones did I add? I don't remember exactly which ones I... I showed you guys that I added. But I added a bunch more. Let's see... Yeah, Nene... Lamy... Luna... Yofi... Riso... Anya... Irene, Kaela, Hobo, Zeta, Iris, Sana, Pona, Crony, Mume, Bay, Astel, Axel, Altair, Oga, Perfect, Laplace, Tenma. Yeah, right. There we go. Begins here. This is where it begins. I've added a, I've added a bunch more. So I, I added Tenma, Pippa, Anna, Mili, Echan, Nodakachan, Genma, Enma, J Chad, Shiori. And Nerissa, Bijou, Fuwawa, Mokoko, and then I, and then with all that, I started adding a bunch of uh, non whole life VTubers as well. So from Nishisanji, we have uh, Monodobe Alice, Ange Katrina, Ars Almao, Belmont Badneras, uh, Ishizono Shigusa, uh, Elira Pandora, Hakase Fuyuki, Honma Himawari, Hoshikawa Sara, Hel 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 Helesta Lise. Oh, I actually think it's Lise Helesta, never mind. Uh, Suzuhara Lulu, Maria Marinette, uh, Mika Melatika, Rindo Mikoto, Nino Kosaka, Petra Gurin, Pomo Rainpuff, Reimo Endo, uh, Makai no Ridimo, Sasaki Saku, Hyakumantembara Salome, her name is so big it didn't fit, unfortunately I can't call her Hyakumantembara Salome, it's to me Hyakumanten, which means a hundred points, a hundred points Salome, you know what? It's fitting. Uh, Sefina, she does not have a, a, a family name, so I had to give her the name of her fandom. Hayase Sol, 
correct skin no me to his na eye and then I started adding a bunch of uh, small corpo and uh, indie VTubers as well. Hisuki Yui from uh, VS from uh, Neoporte, Hitoi Toi from Neoporte, Shibuya Hall from Neoporte, Inu Inuyama Tamaki from um, from uh, Nori Pro, Asmi Sema ha Asmi Sena from VSPO, Ichinose Uruha from VSPO, Kaga Sumiro from VSPO, Kuruminoa from uh, or I think is it Kuruminoa? Yeah, Kuruminoa from. Uh, from um, VSPO, Higuchi Kaede again from um, from um, Ishisanji, Shigurewi, Independent, RPR also here, Independent, Ida Pochi, Independent, Nieners, Independent, Wusipai, Independent, Kiki is also here, she's Independent, Delta, Independent as well, and today I, I added Bajiro as well. And I'm gonna add a bunch, bunch more, still. I'm probably gonna have to go back to like Nishisanji and, and Small Corpus to add more like members. I was being you know, picky because mm, I need to be picky because I, I there's limited slots. But really, I only have like 125 slots filled. I can add way more. So you know what? I'm gonna go all out. I'm just gonna add a bunch of YouTubers that I that I know and that I like. Just add them all. It's gonna be fun that way. So yeah, that's that's the update on the YouTubers that I've added so far. There's still a bunch more to add. I want at least 300. We have 125 added. I want at least 300 minimum. And I know, I know, I know enough VTubers to to fill that up. So that's cool. But anyways, that's uh, that's uh, that's the update so far. With that said, I'm gonna end the stream here. So thank you guys for coming. Sweet dreams. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Sweet dreams.